Hello and welcome to another day on Hello Cameroon. Thank you for choosing to wake up with the CRTV. If you're watching us just now, you're doing the right thing. We're about to start three hours of exceptional, mm, of, a, of an exceptional moment. And we want you to stay with us throughout if you can. If you cannot, do your best and then we'll see at some point. Right now, let's start by getting you updated about what has been happening in and around the country in the past hours. But please stay with us because we've gone far very far to bring you very, very entertaining and beautiful content for today. Good morning once again. The Gara Regional Hospital's theater block has put on new clothes. The World Health Organization has metamorphosed the structure, furnishing it with cutting-edge medical paraphernalia with funds worth 100 million CF francs. WHO's representative in Cameroon, who came evaluating, was elated at the work done, particularly pleased that equipment already installed is functional. We have contributed for the renovation of uh, the uh, operating uh, block of the regional hospital of Garwa in terms of uh, the infrastructure, but we have also contributed to acquire new equipment for three theatre rooms uh, and also uh, equipment for the sterilization of material. The gesture has been saluted by the staff of the hospital and patients who now enjoy better health care delivery. We now have good equipment. At first, we had to go and do echography far off, but we have the apparatus right here. Everything has been changed. We now have new beds, new seats. The hospital will be clean henceforth. Beyond its primary goal of spearheading global health responses, WHO's move to refurbish and equip the hospital is rather a new approach. The Global Health Watchdog hopes to intensify its cooperation with health institutions in Cameroon with focus on computerizing those facilities. For the municipal authorities in Douala, the most effective way of fighting urban disorder and unhygienic practices in the city is true synergy. This is the substance, that is the substance of this 10th platform for collaboration between the Douala City Council and the six municipal councils in the economic capital. The platform was created four years ago and has greatly helped to reduce the conflict. The platform was created four years ago and has greatly helped to reduce the conflict of competence between the city council and the decentralized structures in Douala. To fight against urban disorder, you have to be unified. Yes, you have to be unified. That's why uh, we are uh, uh, talking to our population. Uh, it's a good form to us to come and come back near our population. Joseph Bertrand Mashejungwet, who lauded the initiative of the platform and said that was the beginning of a solution to urban disorder in the city of Douala. The event in Boya was an opportunity for the mayor to assemble the population of the municipality to promote peace and tranquility in the town. The mayor appreciated the population, especially the bike riders, for their mature behavior during the moment of turbulence that plagued the town. We call them today to thank them for, for being vigilant, for reporting recalcitrant cases to appropriate quarters, and also to encourage them to send their children to school, and more so to encourage them to stay away from stigmatization, the fear which has been implanted by unscrupulous fellows on the social media. 
The peace march took a cross-section of the population from the Independent Square through the prison junction to the Southwest Governor's Office. We are reassured to know that the population of Boya said no to all those uh, evil actions and what I can say, just one word, that they should continue to protect our country. Amongst others who took part were traditional rulers and secret dance groups invited by the mayor to cleanse the municipality from evil spirits that, according to him, are against peace and development. CPDF supporters in Vina 1A all converged on the Bamnyaga market in Gaundere to welcome some 200 new militants who had recently decamped the NUDP and the ADD to join their party. During the crowd pulling rally attended by the party's staunch members, including the president of the WCPDM, YCPDM, and grassroots militants, the section president Abo Bello told the militants that their decision to join CPDM was timely and will help them to see in reality in Vina 1. He also affirmed that the section is well armed to win the upcoming elections with flying colors. We have three elections direct with our section presidential. Uh, legislative and council. Pronouncing their commitment to be active members, the new militants stressed that they were tired of working with a party that has no defined direction. The section president, Abo Bello, promised the decamp militants a brighter future with the CPDM. I'm happy to, to see them coming back in our party, CPDM. You know, uh, the CPDM is a big party. And in Gaudere Premier, the, the section CPDM is a new section. A highlight of the meeting was the installation of bureau members of the Bamyanga Market and the Bamyanga Emergence Basic Committees. The rally ended with support work and calls for militants to rally behind the national president for a landslide victory in the upcoming elections. <laughs> Explosion des chiffres dans les registres d'inscription ouverts ce matin. Les jeunes promoteurs de start-up numériques de Douala sortent de l'ombre. En ce premier jour d'atelier, ils étaient déjà plus d'une soixantaine pour autant de projets à faire découvrir. SAPGO, S-A-2-P-G-O, qui veut dire d'abord déjà le panier en banjou. C'est une plateforme de e-commerce qui vise à aider toute personne qui a des contraintes de temps de pouvoir effectuer ses courses en ligne. Le projet de Drone Africa consiste à fabriquer premièrement un drone 100% camerounais au Cameroun, à Douala. Avec ce drone, on, on effectuera trois services. Le premier service, c'est la sécurité. On sait très bien qu'il y, y a de l'insécurité dans les frontières camerounaises. Le deuxième service, c'est la cartographie. Le troisième projet, c'est pour l'agriculture. L'ingéniosité des promoteurs ne souffre d'aucun doute. Cependant, la variété et l'originalité des projets n'est pas toujours à l'aune de la maturation souhaitée. La viabilité devrait pourtant s'adosser sur une bancabilité prometteuse D'où la présence et les conseils des experts du montage de projet. On essaie d'évaluer, on discute avec le, le porteur de, pro, de, de projet pour voir à quel niveau il se situerait. Est-il à une idée juste de création d'entreprise ou alors son idée a suffisamment maturé La cérémonie de lancement officiel de la deuxième halte du Globe Trotter, ce doigt-là, a été présidée par le secrétaire général du Mine Postel. Au final, on attend des jeunes promoteurs mieux outillés, des projets bancables mieux connus et financés pour un renforcement du partenariat public-privé. Et cela passera aussi par une consolidation des meilleurs projets en vue de renforcer le développement local de l'économie numérique dont les avantages semblent désormais bien cernés par les jeunes de Douala. Trois arrêts majeurs ont marqué cette réunion préparatoire de la fête nationale de l'unité, la 45e édition, la lecture du rapport de l'édition 2016, la critique des manquements observés et la préparation de la 45e édition de la fête de l'unité proprement dite. Plus d'une dizaine de commissions ont été créées pour le succès des manifestations à Marois concernant la sécurité, le protocole, la santé, entre autres. Les responsables en charge de la coordination ont insisté sur la correction des dysfonctionnements 
observé en 2016. Il était question pour nous de s'apesantir sur les dysfonctionnements qui ont eu lieu et puis apporter quelques correctifs et voir également les innovations par rapport au programme d'harmonisation nationale qui nous viendra certainement de la hiérarchie. La deuxième réunion était consacrée à la préparation de la 131e édition de la fête du travail. Là encore, plusieurs phases majeures ont été notées. Le bilan de l'édition précédente de la fête du travail et la préparation de l'édition 2017. Des commissions ont une fois de plus vu le jour avec en toile de fond des innovations significatives en phase avec les attentes des travailleurs de la région de l'extrême nord. Les inscriptions pour le défilé ont été une fois de plus encouragées. Les gens doivent s'inscrire au niveau des commissions compétentes et également participer aux répétitions. Les autorités administratives, les responsables des forces de défense et de sécurité, les chefs d'entreprise et les présidents des commissions créées ont promis de servir des parades de qualité et des fêtes de référence aux populations de la ville de Marois le 1er mai et le 20 mai prochain. Venus des différentes chapelles de la paroisse EPC de Neubel Bétanie, les fidèles à l'unisson ont tenu à célébrer cet événement unique de la résurrection de Jésus-Christ le fondement de la foi chrétienne et l'assurance d'une vie nouvelle, tout un symbole. Dieu qui ressuscite son fils, si qu'il est vivant, qu'il est tout puissant, qu'il peut vaincre la mort, qu'il peut triompher sur l'adversité. Le don sacrificiel de Jésus-Christ pour le rachat des péchés n'est pas perçu de la même manière par tous. Nous devons donc prier pour qu'il y ait la paix, la paix dans notre, dans notre église. Nous devons toujours remettre notre vie entre les mains. Un réel motif de satisfaction des chrétiens qui l'ont manifesté à travers les chants d'animation entretenus par les chorales et l'association chrétienne des femmes. En outre, quatre enfants ont reçu le sacrement de baptême au cours de cette célébration. S'inspirant du livre des Romains au chapitre 6, du 4e au 10e verset, le révérend Akem Bita René, Modérateur de la paroisse EPC de Nebel Bétanie exhortera ses oies à se dépouiller du vieil homme pour revêtir le nouvel homme afin de commencer une belle aventure de foi et de confiance avec Dieu. La proclamation de la résurrection de Jésus-Christ en langue maternelle et en langue officielle a constitué la dernière séquence de cette célébration. and thank you for choosing to wake up with the CRTV. We are just starting, so please sit tight. It's a wonderful moment that is opening up to you today. And the team is still there. We've been working since yesterday and went really far to make sure that your morning is worth the trouble with us this morning. Hmm, you can trust us on that. Now let's give you a throwback moment in music. This is a guy who died 21 years ago. Actually, he died uh, on the 20th of November 1996 at the age of 33. And before he died, he had four songs on the market. I'm trying to tease you so that you, you begin to work your brain to see if you see where I'm going to. By the time he died, he had four songs on the market. One of the al four albums, sorry. One of the albums was called Edith. I think you know where that is. And the other one was called Concours de Patience. They were all the, so the albums he had were wonderful. In one of his songs, he says, J'aime tout le monde. And that's a song that many people still listen around and it makes a lot of sense to many people. But I think one of the songs that makes a lot of sense to me is a whole lot song that he made for Bamenda and its people. But that's not the song I want to give you today. I'm talking about Tonton Vieux. Kotobas, that's how his niece Daniela Yango calls him and was sending this to his family and to those who remember and still love Kotobas. This is one of the songs that he left behind. Please enjoy retro clip on CRT. C'est 
recognize some artists there because Kotobas indeed was like a stepping stone in the musical life of many persons including his younger sister uh, Ruth Cotter. Well we are happy we brought you that moment. I hope while watching it you realize like everybody should that if you have a challenge in life it's not a war, it's not a stop sign, it's just an indication that maybe you should go the other way so start looking how to go the other way so that you can continue telling your story in fact he died 21 years ago but we are remembering Kotobash today because he didn't stop in front of his challenges he went around them and got to be a marvelous story and an inspiration for a lot of people including myself now let's go look at what the stars have for us I know some of you I think are about to step out and you can't do without knowing what your star says okay Joyce Abigail has your package in place. Please stay with us. It's what the stars are saying for you and I right now. Hello, good morning. You're welcome to your horoscope. We start with the first bond, Aries. Your symbol is the ram. Your bond between March 21st and April 19. Today, think deeply, speak gently, love much, love a lot, work hard, give freely, trust God, and be kind. A famous Aryan, Eric Maxim Chukumotin, a Cameroon football star. Taurus, second born, good morning. Your symbol is the bull. Those of you born between April 20th and May 20th. Today, finding an old friend is like finding a lost treasure. It will mean a lot to you today. So humble yourself, be prepared to meet an old friend and chat of our old memories. A famous Torian is Arnold Njum, that is, a football star. Gemini, third born, those of you born between May 21st and June 20th, remember, your symbol is the twins. Today, mistakes is your greatest teacher, but only when you are honest enough to admit them, willing to learn from them, and you have the courage to change them. The Cameroon football star, Ernest Mabuka. On to the fourth bond, Cancer. Good morning, those of you born between June 21st and July 22nd. Cancer, your symbol is the crack. Today be strong enough to stand alone. Be yourself enough to stand apart, but be wise enough to stand together when that time comes. And a famous Cancerian is Frank Boyer, that is a Cameroon football star. Now Leo, good morning. Those of you born between July 23rd and August 22nd, your symbol is the lion. Be yourself today, and in being yourself, also give out your very best. That will make you to outshine even more today, Leo. A famous Leo is Serge Luca, and that is a Cameroon football star. Now, Vigo, your symbol is the Virgin. Those of you born between August 23rd and September 22nd. Vigo, sometimes the things that you cannot change ends up being that thing that will change you. Today, be very wise and stay alert and vigilant. A famous speaker is Jacques Zouar, Cameroon football star. Libra, 
Good morning. Your symbol is the skills, those of you born between September 23rd and October 22nd. Libra. At the end of the day, people will judge you anyway. So don't live your life today trying to impress others. Live your life impressing yourself. A famous Libran is Christian Basogak, Cameroon football star. Brings us to Scorpio. Your symbol is the scorpion. Those of you born between October 23rd and November 21st. Good morning to you. Now, taking time to do nothing would often bring everything into perspective. So today, Scorpio, speak only when you feel that your words are better than your silence. The famous Scorpio, Andre Frank Zambo and Gixen. That is a Cameroon football star. Sagittarius, your symbol is the archer. Those of you born between November 22nd and December 21st, good morning. Sagittarius, when life knocks you down, roll over and look at the stars. Try not to take things personally. What people say about you today is a reflection of themselves and not you. A famous Sagittarius is Michelle Gadu Gadu, and that is a Cameroon football star. Capricorn turned born symbol is the gold. Those of you born between December 21st and January 19th, good morning. Now, today, you should ponder about positive thinking and remember that positive thinking isn't about expecting the best to happen every time, but accepting that whatever happens is the best for the moment. A famous Capricorn is Fabrice Ondoir, and that is a Cameroon football star. Aquarius, good morning, 11 Bond, your symbol is the water bearer. Those of you born from January 20 to February 18, Aquarius, Life has knocked you down a few times. It has showed you things you never wanted to see. You have experienced sadness and failures. But one thing for sure that would always take you to that place is for you to always get up on your feet. Stand tall today and look forward to the future. The famous acquiring, Vincent Abubakar, Cameron's football star. Pisces, last born, 12 born of course, your symbol is the fish, those of you born between February 19th and March 20th. Good morning. Today, don't be afraid to start over. It is a new chance to reveal what you want. A famous passion is the Cameroon football star, Samuel Etopis. That is it as far as your horoscope is concerned today, thinking of those of you born on this day, happy birthday. Without your positive traits, you are a patient person, you are peaceful, you are adaptable, you are loving, and you are a kind person. When it comes to your negative traits, you are lazy, you would easily keep a grudge, and sometimes you might just be running a little out of patience, though you are somehow patient as well. That is it for you. Have a blast. Happy birthday to you. But don't forget one thing. Keep watching Hello Cameroon. Until next time, have a nice day. Thank you very much, Joyce. A big half a beautiful day. And uh, I'm thinking of those who are born today. There are three very special persons I want to say happy birthday to right now. The first is Joseph Danger. We'll call him Danger like danger because he's a huge colleague of ours, but a huge like a teddy bear with a heart of gold. Joseph Danger, happy birthday. Joyeux anniversaire, mon frère. And we also want to say happy birthday to Ernest Sumelon. He's also a journalist. And to Glory Mbangwana. We call her Maglo. Um, she's not an, an ear shot away, but I trust she has friends and family who will be able to tell her that on this day we thought of her on the, star, on the TV because she's indeed a colleague, a mom, and a very big friend of ours. Glory Mbangwana, happy birthday to you. And of course, if you're watching us this morning and it's your birthday, please 
hold it very close to you, run with it, and don't let anybody tell you how to spend the day of today because at midnight, it will be like Cinderella shoes. You have to give it to somebody else. Happy birthday. Get a blast and just do it your way. You want to eat cake, eat cake. You want to run and fly, please fly. Right now, let me take you to something else. I want you to rediscover with me, but this time in his own words, somebody who is a huge contribution to the movie industry. He's been there. I've personally seen him around for a very long time, and he's done wonderful movies. I'm talking about Agob Hubert. And uh, he was here on the program to tell us that in the coming days, there's going to be the Cameroon International Film Festival. And uh, right now, we just want to rediscover the man, the producer, the person who puts together images and sound and characters and talents in a very rare way. This is Agua Gilbert, and it's the artist on Hello Cameroon. Castles in the air. <laughs> 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 he always tells it like it has mm -hmm. His films are great. Yeah. 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 I like to accompany my colleagues, my friend in the domain of filmmaking. Outside filmmaking, there's not really much. I'm a laid back person. I'm a playful person. I joke, I laugh, I get angry like every other person. As a film producer, I, I started as a production assistant uh, on the uh, renowned filmmaker Fred Amata. I walked my way through quietly learning. I did what we generally would address as apprentice. I learned that they, I learned the trade the hard way. I didn't have the fancy of going to New York Film Academy, but I went to a, a, a film school in Lagos called Princeton Film School in Oshodi. Then I went to Algeria where I served on the a top filmmaker in Algeria. I came back to Cameroon in 2005 when I did my first film, Before the Sunrise. It was at the peak of the Bakasi uh, issue between Cameroon and Nigeria. So I thought, okay, what would be my little contribution to ensure peace between two nations where I am involving uh, my mom is Nigerian from Cross River State, my father is from Cameroon. So. I brought actors from Nigeria and I brought actors from Cameroon, put them together. We did a movie, a kind of, a team of uh, more like Romeo and Juliet kind of story. Yeah. <clears throat> and the uh, Nigerian consulate at that time, uh, Dr. Goodluck Igali gave his residence. There was a lot of support from the, from the Nigerian community. And then uh, I did my next movie, uh, The Blues Kingdom which was about female genital mutilation and breast ironing. Then I did uh, Land of Shadow in uh, Barfoot. Then I did Pink Poison. And my most recent film is Far. Having a production house in Cameroon might just be the most easiest thing because you go and you get an attestation <laughs> from the delegates of culture. But running a production house is the most difficult thing you can ever think of in Cameroon because the infrastructures in Cameroon are not there. The government is not giving the support which is needed by the filmmakers. What I mean is the Ministry of Arts and Culture should sit with the, f with the filmmakers themselves and ask them the way forward, not the other way around, not the, as a government, proposing ideas to help us get out of the dilemma we're facing as filmmakers. Because our problem in Cameroon right now is not, um, is not producing films, because we can produce those films anytime, any day or the actors are good enough. But the problem in Cameroon is we don't have a means to recover what we invest in the films. The Ministry of Communication encourages piracy in terms of a cable network. So the structure to help propel the Cameroonian filmmakers is actually not well defined. My films are a little bit expensive. Very. It might be a little bit expensive, but not as expensive as some of the Hollywood and Nollywood and Bollywood films. But when you come to Cameroon, you, when you look at our country, my films are a little bit expensive. No more expensive than some Cameroonian films that I know. 
you know. Uh, when I say they are expensive, relying on what we do today, you know, majorities of the Cameroonian films now are being produced between Boya and Baminda. And mo most of us will film between 5 million and 10 million. But I film my movie sometimes up to 15 million. And the only film I've done in my life in Cameroon that I recover the money is been Before the Sunrise and Blues Kingdom. After that, all the other films, they, it's just been one struggle to another. So the way forward is for the Ministry of Culture, you know, to sit with the filmmakers who are producing films, who have films in the market. Because you go to, to Yaoundé, there are a lot of fake filmmakers, people who talk cinema and have never produced one movie that's in, in distribution, that's in circulation. Because he who has produced a movie, that the movie has gained distribution, will understand the worries I face. Thierry Tamak, who did the Blanc de Yenga, uh, Angu Elizabeth, who was the president of the Producers Guild, uh, Musing Derek, who's done over four films, and he has about three still in his coffers. He doesn't even know how to distribute them. So when we are talking, we're talking from a different angle because we have experience. Sometimes I know these girls will love you, they'll fall on you. Sometimes I want to know if you don't feel tempted to touch. Well, the best way you can succeed in this business is when you don't mingle with, with, with your colleagues. You don't get involved. Acting or filmmaking is very spiritual, and actors are very emotional. So don't mix the two. I don't mix the two. Give me a square frame of the kind of woman that you like. A woman is a woman. It just depends on the woman who accepts to be with you and uh, tolerates your, your shortcoming. My woman is not a superwoman but she just decides to accept me for who I am and she tolerates my, uh, the fact that I'm a filmmaker, the fact that in my line of business there's a lot of gossip, there's a lot of backbiting. She does not get involved. I think if people should read themselves, I should call myself a very lucky person for the kind of woman I have in my life and I really, really appreciate her every day. Hello, people. My name is Agbo Gilbert Abode. Keep watching Hello and stay tuned to Sierra TV. There is hope that Sierra TV is going to start showing Cameroonian films. Empe! <laughs> Gilbert, you couldn't say that because we have been showing your movies, right? But of course, um, Agbo Gilbert is a frank shooter. I mean, you, you get him, you're sure to get exactly what is sitting here in his heart. And sometimes in life, you prefer that, you know, I prefer that to somebody who would talk for 10 hours and you're not sure you've, you're reading his heart. Thank you so much for that moment with you, Agbo Gilbert, and thank you very much, Myra, for being the go-between for that slot this morning. Now, let's talk a, a new gospel singer on the market. He's called Andreas Gara, and he's about to launch a debut album. And as I'm talking to you, he's smiling, and it just happens that we have the same color. We could go, we could go somewhere this morning. Good morning, Andreas. How are you? I'm mm. happy to have you on Hello Cameroon. Thank you. Thank you and very much. Um, tell me about, <coughs> uh, tell me about what makes you sing. Because when I when I talk about when I talk to you, you're so happy to be launching the song. I mean, there's some joy that comes deep from within you, and I'm, I want to find out what makes you sing. Uh, I sing because the person who created me deserves praises, and uh, I can only give him praises through music. Okay, That's and your first album, you know, the one you're about to launch, actually tells the story of Thanksgiving. Is that so? Exactly. exactly. Okay. Tell me about it. Okay. The song, the the title, the title of the album is "Thank You, Father." I, I decided to thank God in singing for the many things He has done in my life. Uh, in the course of my life, I've really gone through some uh, difficulties. Uh, I've missed accidents, and uh, there are many things in my life that I just. I just think the best way for uh, the, what I can do is to thank God through music. Okay. Uh, that's and why I had to give us the date album. and the place where you will be launching this album. Okay, this album will be launched on Saturday, this Saturday, the 22nd of April 2017. Uh, it will be launched at the Sunday School Worship House of mm. Presbyterian Church in Simeon. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what are you telling those who are coming, those who are inviting for this launching? 
Uh, I'm will just you do some performance for them? Which you yeah, they will be. W- I w- I w- I'm going to do some performances for them, and uh, equally they will be guest artists to okay. buttress the occasion. Do you want to name some of the artists you're inviting to accompany you? Yeah, there will be uh, Brother Pat, okay. who is a gospel musician. Okay. There will be Mr. David, who is equally a gospel musician. There will be Auntie Bex, Chunko Becky Bison. Who sure. Who equally that one we know, and, and we can assure you <laughs> there will be show. And Kibunla <laughs> Supreme. All right, so and Kibungla Supreme. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you have a wonderful career in singing. Thank and you. And I, I hope that uh, you will not only sing, sing your singing gospel, but that you will reach many people's hearts. That's my desire. All right, that People should listen and be transformed. Okay. Have a beautiful day, and thank you for coming on Hello Cameroon. Thanks very and much. And if something awesome is happening in your gospel career, tell us as well so that we can keep tap on the good things that you're doing. Thank you. All right. Uh, let me take you to a locality uh, up north around uh, Chad. It's called Kaku in the Bibemi subdivision. Um, recently, a speed of fire incident has got the locals thinking that this is linked to a power tussle in the area of recent. And one of us, Bruno Doni, went there to find out. And this is the report that Bruno Doni sent. Kaku is a rare pearl of a village in the Bibemi subdivision in the north region. Located at the foot of a mountain, it's a border locality to Chad. For a village in the north region, her people are not cattle breeders nor nomads. Kaku is a fishing village. Kaku village in my subdivision is one of the most important vill- uh, villages since it is the area where crops are produced. Most of the crops that are sold in, in our markets are produced there. More to that, you have a, it's a very fishy area too. So it's, a, it's an important area. Kaku has gone down in history for its legendary hospitality, both nationally and internationally. And you have in Kaku not only Cameroonians, but some of uh, uh, Nigeria, the, the populations of uh, the, 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 the entire countries that enroll Cameroon, Nigeria, you have Niger, you have Chad, and so on and so forth. So even as far as Mali, you have people there living since t- 30 years. Kaku is a Muslim-dominated village. The mosque in the heart of the village sends a message of Islam to any visitor. It is hard to find an allergy in this remote village, as the people mostly do not have the means to travel to Mecca to complete one of the five pillars of Islam. Nevertheless, they try to be as religious as they can following the laws of Muhammad. (laughs) 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 Most of the young people in this village would rather go fishing for they are naturally endowed with a very fertile lake or engage in any petty trade than settle for education. Kaku is an economic powerhouse in the Bibemi subdivision because of its natural resources. Apart from fishing, these waters never drawn dry even the heart of the dry season, making it possible for fresh harvest all year round. Ac- just across the lake you have Chad and the Bibare village is clearly visible from here, which is a major trading partner to the Kaku village, which booms the economy of the Kaku people. This lake is the source of our riches. We eat and trade for meat. I have never known how to farm because of the riches of this lake. I even refused going to school over fishing. There are over 26 species of fish in this lake. This is the most productive lake in the north region. We sometimes catch fish which weighs up to 50 kilograms. Even maintenant, pendant la saison en mars, vous viendrez ici on vous on on va vous pêcher. Vous pouvez voir the fertile soil of the Kaku lands and with water generated from the Kaku lake the people are sure to have their jars full all year round. Sorgo, corn, groundnuts, and vegetables are fruits of this beautiful lake, apart from the 26 species of fish it produces yearly. 
trade with Bipawi across the other side of the lake, which is charred, keeps the economy of the Kaku people booming. But the once happy Kaku is not so happy anymore. A gloom shadows the bloom of the village. Lately, the village has been plagued by a mysterious fire which they say selectively burns down houses. Even the village head is in a dilemma as to the cause of the recent incidents. It began with stones falling on children studying the Quranic school. A month later, it turned into fire in the Marabu house. We turned off the fire, which later has been burning other homes. It consumed my house to my younger brothers, Jibril Abuba, and then to my elder brother's house, Yaya Buba. The cause of these fire outbreaks is unknown. Even while the divisional officer, while making rounds in the village, gets reports of another fire incident. One can really not tell because some of the populations point their finger on a mystical phenomenon because the source of the fire is not really known. When the fire is stopped at the left, people shout at the right that the fire is still going on and is catching other houses. The villagers have deserted their homes for their own safety, their belongings outdoors and keeping buckets of water nearby in any case. So far, over 20 homes have been ravished by the fire. The village is in intense prayers and fasting, after which sacrifices of goods sheep, cows will be made to the God and Allah. Some villagers associate the recent mysterious happenings in Kaku to the tussle of power among local traditional and religious leaders, while others associate it to witchcraft. Hope is gradually crawling back into the village with the divisional officer's message of tolerance, peace and unity so that Kaku can once more be the small happy fishing village it once was. Bruno Ndoni, indeed, that's our hope for all of us, that peace will, c peace and calm will definitely come back to Kaku. Do you know Bill O'Reilly? Bill O'Reilly uh, has been a broadcaster with Fox News in the United States for a long time. For those of you who, you who watch cable, he made news for a long time and has been a popular figure around the United States for, I mean, he just recently got dropped by Fox News and Charles Ebune will be coming here to tell us why Bill O'Reilly is being dropped. It's a big story and if you are one of those fast persons, you might want to check that up on your phone or on your tablet or on your computers before we get to discuss that with Charles Ebune. But let me take you to the East region. There is a teacher there who also uses his spare time to make xylophones. You know this musical instrument that people use um, for music in Cameroon, we, it's very common. Well, let's discover this uh, very talented teacher who uses his talent to make beautiful, th beautiful, thing, beautiful things with Gilbert Ongene. Hello there, welcome to Betwa. Today we are going to take you to discover somebody very special, somebody who is specialized in the fabrication of xylophones. We are going to discover Mr. Eugene Binom, who at the same time is a, a teacher. Without much ado, just follow me and find out how he carries on with the fabrication of xylophones. Fifty-six year Binon Binon Eugene is not only a dexterous xylophone player, this father of four kids who is an accountancy teacher designs and makes xylophones from local materials, a skill which he says he developed from watching his late father himself, a renowned xylophone player at the Catholic Mission Otele, perform. My father was uh, uh, the person who uh, fabricated uh, the xylophone. Then I, uh, I see how he, he has worked and uh, I am applicate now. Now, can we know your father and when uh, did he carry out the fabrication of xylophones before he introduced you to it, to this trade? 
my the name of my father is uh, Binongiki Alexandre. He died some years ago. He introduced the Zilophone in the uh, Catholic uh, Church in um, uh, uh, 1962. 1962. In the Hotel Village, Central Region. What is the process of fabricating Xylophone? How do you start? Where do you end? And what kind of Xylophones are there? There is uh, two kinds of uh, Xylophones. Uh, the diatonic one, uh, like this one, because we cannot change the gum when we play. The other uh, model of uh, xylophone is uh, the chromatic one. The chromatic xylophone has uh, two keyboards which permit uh, to change the, 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 the kind of, uh, of music. At his workshop in his Bertoua residence, the passionate artist selects what goes into the fabrication of the xylophone carefully. Now we are taking you into the hearts of hearts, the workshop of Mr. Binom, Eugene. You are surely eager to discover how he gets around fabricating these xylophones that you just saw a while ago. The raw materials here in my uh, workshop is uh, red wood. Mm -hmm. This red wood uh, uh, helped me to make a xylophone. We call it scientifically uh, paduk. Paduk. This other wood is uh, called uh, sapeli. Uh, I use it to make uh, what support the xylophone. Yes. The xylophonist who supplies his finished products to local churches and orchestras says upon completion, a set of three xylophones could cost up to 300,000 CFA francs. All his children are interested not only in learning how to play this musical instrument, but also in the trade of manufacturing this traditional piano and are expected to take up this activity after him. Let's now uh, see one of the children of Ms. Abinon and talk to her and find out how uh, she gets interested in this street. When I'm seeing my father okay. playing this, it is interesting me. And I want also to do like him. I want to be a xylophonist like my father, but I don't want to be popular or too much special. My father is not popular, but sometimes mm, some personalities invite him. But I, I want just to to play my xylophone in my house. In my house with my family. I don't want to be too special or popular. This could be another avenue for youths of Cameroon who are interested in promoting our culture through music to valorize this cultural heritage and why not make a niche for themselves in the job market. In fact, the sweetest things come out of the mouth of kids. And, you know, uh, Patricia Leber-Matuxon is right here for the news. And she was watching that. She just said, unblended, that kid just spoke it. He said, my father is not popular, but look at the love on her face when she's talking about her father. Oh, that's Hello Cameroon. You know, we do those things to you. Now, let's give you news. It's 7 o'clock. And the lady with the news is right here. Thursday, the 20th of April, 2017. Gracious morning and thanks for joining me for the 7 a.m. edition of the news. The National Commission on Human Rights and Freedoms will hold its 22nd ordinary session today as from 9 a.m. at the Chambers of Agriculture. The session will be presided over by the chairperson of the commission, Dr. Chemute Divine Banda. 
The first 20 models of cars to be made in Cameroon will be presented to the public today at the Yaoundé Sports Complex. The models have been assembled in China. The models that were assembled in China took off from Douala yesterday. The made in Cameroon vehicles will be assembled in Kribi, where an assembly plant will be constructed. And Cameroon's Minister of Justice has signed an order setting up a group charge with the responsibility of conducting capacity building sessions for Anglophone judiciary staff nationwide. Similarly, the Ministers of Justice, that of Higher Education and Public Service and Administrative Reforms, have also signed two joint decisions addressing a cross section of concerns raised by common law lawyers in the country. Ebenezer Akanga has details. The order signed by the Minister of Justice this April 19, 2017 sets up a working group that is in charge of conducting capacity building sessions for Anglophone judicial staff placed under the authority of the Minister of Justice. The working group shall be responsible for designing and following up the implementation of the capacity building of Anglophone judicial and legal officers and court registers in administrative law and audit the joint decision signed by the Minister of Justice, that of higher education, and that of public service and administrative reforms sets up a joint commission in charge of preparing the course content for training programs of students of the National School of Administration and Magistracy, ENAM, placed under the supervision of the Minister of Justice, the commission shall be responsible for preparing the course content for training programs of students of the Magistracy and Registry Division of ENAM. The last joint decision signed still by the Minister of Justice, that of higher education and that of public service and administrative reforms, sets up a joint commission in charge of preparing the curricula of legal courses for judicial careers. The order and joint decisions are ways of effectively implementing the measures announced by government intended to provide solutions to the concerns raised by lawyers in the northwest and southwest regions. Corporation is now owner of Boeing 707 and Boeing 700 that the company has been using on lease for the past couple of years. The deal was described by Transport Minister and Chemicals Director General as one that will free the company from the billion of France CFA it used to disburse to the ACG Group. Mercy Ashu reports. 2011 to 2016 makes it exactly five years since the Cameroon Airlines Corporation, Cameco, and the Aviation Capital Group, ACG, went into a leasing contract of two aircrafts codenamed New Generation Planes Boeing 737-700NG, an agreement that saw Cameco spending about 19 billion francs CFA. But with the official handing over of these documents, the aircrafts manufactured in 2005 and 2006 with a capacity to transport 131 passengers now becomes Cameco's property after intense negotiations. With a deal sealed, there is hope that the national airlines will regain its clientele and enhance service delivery as it diversifies local and regional flights. I would like first to express my profound gratitude and pay a glowing tribute to His Excellency Paul Biya, President of the Republic of Cameroon, who, through his vision for the recovery of Camerco, personally ordered the disbursement of financial resources for this acquisition. This is a journey that some members of government, director generals, representatives of Boeing, and the aviation capital group embarked on as they watch a film projection of the company's trites and witness the transfer of ownership of the planes downtown Yaoundé. 
over to the southwest region where contractors and stakeholders in the road maintenance chain have been told that projects executed without respecting the terms of reference will be rescinded. The cautioning was made by Public Works Minister Emmanuel Ganu Jumesi in Limbe as he chaired a meeting grouping all road sector actors. Luma Slim Davis was part of the minister's trip and tells us more. Gere Mese village, located in Gidegi subdivision in the Mayokani division of the far north region of Cameroon. Its inhabitants, for the first time, do have electricity. The village is one of the 35 localities in the region that have benefited from the project conducted by the Rural Electrification Agency, AER, to supply electricity to northern Cameroon. We are very satisfied with the quality of uh, the works. We have some equipment which are well done and we hope that uh, this equipment will be in this stage many years, maybe 40 years. Chairing the ceremony for the provisional reception of the works in Gerime was the general manager of the Rural Electrification Agency. Electricity has not to be only in the big towns, it has to be in the villages. And uh, that is why Rural Electrification as Agency has been created to find financement to bring electricity in all the rural villages. While in Gerimi, just like in the 34 other beneficiary villages, people are celebrating what they have termed their connection not only to the rest of Cameroon, but to the world at large at the Rural Electrification Agency, officials are envisaging brighter days announcing more of such projects. Mosawada reporting on some 35 localities in the far north region that will soon benefit from electricity supply thanks to a project financed by the Cameroon government and executed by the Rural Electrification Agency. Out of the country, U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson has accused Iran of alarming ongoing provocations aimed at destabilizing in the Middle East and undermining America's interests in the region. Mr. Tillerson said an unchecked Iran has the potential to travel the same path as North Korea and to take the world along with it. President Trump earlier ordered a review of the Iran nuclear deal. However, the U.S. admits that Tehran is complying with the 2015 agreement. Agreement. Iran has so far made no public comments on the latest developments. And at least three people have been killed in Venezuela in protest against the government of President Nicola Maduro. A teenager in the capital Caracas and a woman in San Cristobal near the Colombian border were shot dead. A National Guard man was killed south of the capital. Tens of thousands of people rallied to demand new presidential elections and the release of jailed politicians. And in sports, Dragon, of Yawu, Dragon Club of Yawunde have beaten new stars of Douala two goals to one at the Yawunde Military Stadium. This was during one of the several games counting for the 10th day of play in the League One Championship. Cyril Nwazike captured highlights of that game and tells us more. The Dragon versus New Star duel, according to Sports Pundit on paper, was supposed to be a clash of the Titans. But on the turf, the over 90 minutes of timid encounter proved them wrong. The poor coordination of passes from the both teams left nothing enviable from the soccer. From this collective play, New Stars took the lead by Valdo Bilunga. Dragon's efforts to retaliate were full of squandered opportunities. In the second half, Dragon came inches to the equalizer. It finally paid off with this frenzy in the New Stars' defense. The much pressure from Dragon earned them goal number two. Fans say that after a mediocre show, Dragon managed to carry this day 10 encounter on home soil. And it's on that sports note that we put a cap on the 7 a.m. edition of the news. We meet you tomorrow, Friday, same time with the same pleasure. Meantime, have a beautiful day enjoying Pochi's company. Meantime, you can continue doing your selfie. <laughs> 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 okay. So.
Um, right. It's the name of mm -hmm. a song, you know, but mm -hmm. that's not what we're talking about right now. I want to, uh, Patricia Lebado, thank you very much for the news. And I'm looking forward to seeing you Tuesday. Tuesday. And have a beautiful weekend Thank in between. You. Mm -hmm. I want to present to you a winner boy. He's been into different competitions and he's won three major competitions in singing. He's called B Spana. And in this song that I'm about to bring to you called Motivation, he's pairing up with who? The Soja Boy, the, uh, the hip hop event maker. And uh, they are singing this song, uh, Motivation, which I would say it's a hip-hop moment that we to use to send Patricia back out of the studio. And uh, please enjoy B-Spana featuring Stanley Eno, Motivation, and Halo Camille. Mother line, baby. Mm -hmm. Introduce it. B-Spana. B-Spana. Coyote. Downtown. Stanley Eno. Cause I know you're the best shake, let me see Hey, yeah Even see the way I got swag That's the reason why I'm about to say Hey, yeah Baby girl, I'm been looking for the money That was planning for this weekend Hey, yeah Motivation, motivation Baby, motivation Hey, boy, I'm the bullshit I just wanna tell you that it's no bliss If you see the way I got my no shit Please don't mind my business. I'm the coolest nigga I see. My hobbies is a bloody hand, a honey, he's my daddy. Look at him in the middle like a wood, she can be me. Cause I told her she could be my real wife, don't know freaking, huh? Yeah. Want to step up in the party, all the little pussy get. Want to make me superstar, every minute, every second. Kaya, when we see the beauty, want to put it in the load of shorts, right in the hood, nigga. Baby, lovely. I just want to tell you that it's my place. If you see the way I got my no shit, gonna make a fire my way, everybody say, hey, yeah. I just wanna make it shine, cause I know you're the best shake, let me say, hey, yeah. If you see the way I got swag, that's the reason why I'm about to say, hey, yeah. Baby girl, I'm been looking for the money that was planning for this weekend, hey, yeah. Motivation, motivation, baby, motivation. Sexy to the top, this pan I wanna know. Underbody, underbody, bad girls in the house. Got my swag, got my money in the bubble cup. You got me once, you got me twice. My close sights wanna be like me. He's thanks to love, yeah. I got my sugar, baby, I'm proud, yeah. Welcome to my world, baby, lovely. I just wanna tell you that it's no place. If you see the way I got my no shit, gonna make a fire my way. I'm about to say, hey, see, yeah. I just wanna make it shine, cause I know you're the best shake, let me say, hey, see, yeah. If you see the way I got swag, that's the reason why I'm about to say, hey, see, yeah. Baby girl, I'm been looking for the money that was planning for this weekend, hey, see, yeah. Motivation, motivation, baby, motivation. Damn. Hands in the air, you're going nowhere, cause the party's over here. Yeah. You better swag up, oh, get right out of here. Cameroon's hip hop, King Kong, I think for yeah. Whoa, uh. hey, hey, hey. one ton of mirror, hey. eating post nyaj in my new Panamera. I see why these guys, them my vex on the jigger, cause the ladies say I street pass brown caramella. Ah, uh. brown caramella. I'm always on the run, keys to the city, yeah, we live by the gun. Killing you with love, I know. Good die young, I don't care, I'ma give it cause love is the answer. Love is yeah, the answer. Yeah, yeah, love is the answer. Can't get enough every time I drop a banger. Motherland Empire, here we heading to the top. Introducing dream things, peace, when I can't come. Oh. Baby, 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 lovely. I just wanna tell you that it's no place. If you see the way I got my no shit, gonna make a fire my way. I'm about to say, hey, see, yeah.
beautiful song there and a quite a pair and the title motivation if you got the message then good if you didn't maybe one day we'll bring it again for you it's called motivation get yourself motivated for a wonderful day ahead it's morning time you know the beautiful thing about each morning is you have the choice how you want your day to look like if it's looking gloomy and you're looking at it and you're letting it go it's a gloomy day for you enjoy the gloomy day but for us it's yay yay and right now let's give you an idea of what the front the headlines of the newspapers are so that before you step out you know exactly which paper you want to get and which stories are on your mind Bodin summer is right here good morning Bodin. good morning Pochi. how are you i'm very fine thank you are you motivated I'm always motivated. <laughs> I am always motivated. <laughs> You're always motivated. Yes. I like you. You know, one of these days, you, you, you've you got maybe a motivation pill. So please put some in your pocket for <laughs> people who, who I need. I so said 2017 <laughs> is my year. So from the start of this year, I've always been You've motivated. You've been motivated. In fact, yes. you're a motivation pill. Yeah. The, you started it well, though, I can say. <laughs> I, I know that he started it well. So <laughs> I, I have no doubt that by, two ta by the end of 2017, it's only going to be ha-ha-ha for Baldwin and his people. You but can now, say that again. No, I can say it again and again and again and again. But please, let's not bore those who are sitting in their homes and in their offices and looking at us and like what are those two thinking they are there for we are <laughs> here for the press review <laughs> body what are the headlines we have so <laughs> many stories that have run through our newspapers uh, this first day morning we begin a press review with uh, today's edition of for uh, cameroon tribune newspaper with this story on this front page talking about the training of uh, english speaking legal practitioners in the two english speaking regions in cameroon the northwest and the southwest regions with uh, three different groups put in place on the instructions of uh, uh, the President of the Republic to set up a platform comfortable for uh, the training of English-speaking uh, legal practitioners in Boya. And in Bamena, the paper says that uh, these, these uh, three groups put in place, um, uh, yes, they will have to work on the contents of uh, uh, what will be disseminated to these students, especially at the level of uh, National School of Administration and Magistracy in, um, uh, uh, in Yawunde, and what will also be uh, the future like for some of these English-speaking uh, legal practitioners to be trained and uh, work in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. What are some of these key modalities that will be taken into consideration as far as uh, these three different groups uh, created or put in place is concerned? Get a copy of today's edition of a lone bilingual daily Cameroon Tribune newspaper and no more. We stay with uh, this edition of Cameroon Tribune to talk about uh, uh, 20 May 2017 with uh, 3,550 medals that will be awarded on May 20 this year, 2017. But tells us that uh, uh, the uh, uh, National Council of National Orders met yesterday. They started examining well over 8,500 files uh, for medals come May 20. This year, 2017, under the auspices of the Grand Chancellor of National Orders, Peter Mafani Musonge, with just 3,550 uh, that will be selected and awarded medals on May 20, this year, 2017. We leave Cameroon Tribune newspaper to talk about today's edition of Mutation. Uh, it has this investigative report, especially concerning women. It has to do with uh, skin bleaching the killer product. Uh, this product is called uh, glutation, mostly used in uh, different uh, beauty salons, beauty, beauty salons in the different regions of Cameroon that is supposed to treat Parkinson and other diseases. Unfortunately, uh, most women use it to, 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 as far as skin bleaching is concerned. The effects of using this product in these respective uh, beauty salons in the different regions of Cameroon, get that in this edition of Mutation Newspaper with uh, expertise from uh, a medical uh, practitioner who talks about some of the disadvantages of uh, skin bleaching for women. With that story, in today's edition of Mutation Newspaper, it has a picture of a certain lady. You see her picture, you see her face before, and you see her face after how she looks like after skin bleaching. Emergence newspaper for this Thursday morning talks about uh, uh, this, what has been making headline news on the social media, a vi video and pictures of uh, the residents of uh, the former uh, Director General of uh, Budget in Cameroon, Antoine Felix Samba. Uh, investigations open as far as uh, his alleged ill-gotten wealth is concerned. Talks about pictures of uh, uh, this mansion 
uh, erected on the out in Colandum around Misasi on the outskirts of Yaoundé by the former Director General of Budgets today, Inspector General in the Ministry of Finance. Uh, a persistent, um, a rumor, a persistent rumors on social media about of financial misappropriation. And in this edition of Emergence News, he talks about reports in his uh, village, Mintam, his residence plantations, and uh, have reactions of some of his work, some of those who work in his plantations in the villages about some of uh, uh, his uh, residences and his wealth and clarifications from a barrister, a law, Leonard Sanjong, as to how possible it is for a civil servant in Cameroon to uh, be in possession of such a mansion as it is the case with uh, uh, the former director general of the budget with his mansion on the outskirts of Yawundi. The Guardian Post newspaper this Thursday morning informs us as far as the anglophone crisis is concerned that the Bamenda court has uh, suspended the case against bishops indefinitely. Some bishops in the northwest region of Cameroon were supposed to appear in court this Friday uh, uh, summoned uh, by a consortium of parents to appear in court as far as uh, the uh, non-resumption non of classes in the northwest region in some of these Calix courts are concerned. The paper tells us that uh, the court has indefinitely suspended that case and that the bishops will not appear in court this Friday, uh, April 21, as it was supposed to be the case. The Guardian Post informs us that uh, bishops say they want to be quickly tried and, I, and either be convicted or acquitted. They want to be tried, but the court has uh, indefinitely suspended that case that was supposed to be this Friday. And still talking about uh, uh, the case in court, the Scoop newspaper says, uh, Angle, still talking about the Anglophone crisis, the Scoop newspaper says, after Catholic bishops in the Northwest region, it is a time for the moderator of for the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon and the CBC, they joined the leaders in court, the moderator of the Presbyterian Church in Cameroon, summoned and to appear before the High Court in Boya on Monday, April 24, uh, 2017, still in connection with uh, the non-resumption of uh, classes in the two English-speaking regions of Cameroon. Will that case also be suspended as it is a case with uh, the bishops in, in, uh, in Bamenda? That is what the paper is asking. We are still waiting for Monday, April 24, 2017. L'Essentiel newspaper for this Thursday morning says, uh, still talking about the Anglophone crisis, uh, the alleged consortium of parents who summons the Catholic bishops uh, uh, to appear in court, most of them whose names were uh, written on the summons, they have written disclaimers saying they are not part and parcel of any summons summoning bishops or the moderator to court. Uh, that the, the, some of these disclaimers so uh, visible and present on social media, uh, the two names mentioned on the uh, summons, they, they have said they are not and they never signed or will not be part of for any summons for bishops or the moderator of the different churches to appear before the courts in Bamenda and in Boya. Read that story by getting a copy of the latest edition of the Sanciel newspaper. As we end with uh, Le Pevier newspaper, that talks about the 2017 all university games that begin uh, this, uh, this Saturday on the campus of the University of Bamenda, all roads leading to Bamenda with uh, the different state universities and uh, private uh, high institutions of learning that are already on the way to Bamenda and the Minister of Higher Education, Jacques Fameng Lungu, has reassured the different students that all measures have been taken to ensure security uh, for these students uh, throughout their stay uh, in Bamenda for well over one week that all these universities will be meeting. And during the official opening ceremony this Saturday, the former captain of the national football team of Cameroon, Vigo Song Bahanak, and uh, the queen of the mountain, uh, Seva Liongo Tunge, will be special guest during the op opening ceremony of the All University Games this Saturday on the campus of the University of Bamenda. In fact, we had a FENASCO that just ended in, in Bamenda, Bamenda, yes. You correct me. So yeah, I think FENASCO, uh, FENASCO B. Indeed. So yeah. I, and it, we, we heard it and it went well. So I, I have a lot of hopes that the university games will also go on well. Yeah. And I would definitely want to see Sarah Liengo Etonge, the queen of, of the, the mountain, mountain and the, 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 the former captain of the Lions, Rigo Basson, in person. If I had that opportunity, I'll be going to Bamenda only for that. Bodhi Sama, thank you so much for giving us the headlines. You Welcome. At least now, those of you watching us out there, you have an idea which papers you want to go for and which stories remain on your mind, so you go digging further. And you can dig further than the papers. Go on the Internet. Just choose the right website, though. 
Boarding summer, have a beautiful day ahead. A better one for you. And uh, talk to you on Tuesday. God willing. <laughs> and a beautiful weekend in between. A better one for you. All right. Now let's talk health. And uh, today we choose to bring back uh, somebody to talk about kidney because mm, it's never too much to talk about health issues, particularly kidney diseases. Please just stay with us. The kidney disease is a disease which is an epidemic. So it, it is affecting a greater population of our people. We have to do all to let our people know what the causes are and um, how possibly to prevent them and then the treatment we can offer to them. When we look at the international uh, um, uh, view of it, we will talk of uh, diabetes and hypertension as the main causes. Uh, but uh, back in Cameroon, I think this uh, the medications we take everywhere and along the line, the herbs, and then the infections. We have malaria, we have different, different other infectious diseases, which um, are a major cause. Infections, medications, diabetes, um, hypertension, and then this small part, we still have cancer. The best thing is that this patient should regularly consult a doctor who should do a blood test to see if the kidney values are mm -hmm. in, in order. I think when you are sick, try to get a doctor, use the chance to check your blood values. And then otherwise, okay, you should find people who are always feeling weak, nauseous, and then um, you look pale. That may be some signs of um, already advanced kidney disease or an acute kidney disease. We have to, be, to differentiate between acute and chronic because if you have an acute kidney problem, it may take one or two days, even that day, depending on, on what the cost is, to get your kidney to a point where you need dialysis. When it's chronic, it means the kidney has been damaged for more than three months. Then it becomes chronic. Um, to get to the point of dialysis is something with acute they have criteria which determines if you get to go to dialysis. This may be if your potassium value is too high, uh, your body is too uh, acidic, and um, uh, your, your body is filled with fluid. So that may force the nephrology say, okay, you have to start dialysis. And now, if it's chronic, it means over the years they have been deteriorating until then, yeah, more than, stay more than three months gradually deteriorating onto the point of no return and then these symptoms, these problems are occurring and then your nephrologist will take you onto dialysis. Since the kidney has many functions like controlling your blood pressure, uh, producing blood, um, uh, excreting water from your body and many many other functions, um, if they fail then you don't go to see uh, your nephrologist to take care of that. Mm -hmm. And you see, you won't excrete the water, so you will suffocate of too much water. And your, your body won't produce blood. You won't be able to control your blood pressure and many other issues. When we talk of kidney problem, we're talking of medicine and tea in general. You see, you will talk of hypertension. You have to maintain a normal high blood pressure, take care of your diabetes. You have to make sure any infections are treated in a way that they don't uh, affect your kidney, use the right medications. Uh, which we have to put here, especially these um, painkillers like abofane and this group of medications. Herbs, they destroy the, the kidney. So be very careful. Because for now, there is no kidney transplant, but it is a matter of care. A matter of care. Um, if um, the transplant is well mm -hmm. catered for, you need a lot of immune suppressives. These are drugs to keep down your um, immunity, the antibodies down. And then you avoid infections you know, and many other uh, uh, health issues. The transplant may last long. Patients and the doctor should take good care of this very, very vital um, uh, life uh, saving uh, procedure, uh, which means they have to, the patients have to be trained as well as the doctors and nurses to take good care of this um, 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 dialysis assessment.
bit more about kidney diseases and that's one of the reasons why we are here each morning to try to tell you a little bit more about health issues that you need to know more about if you think you're worried about kidney issues please get medical help get a medical doctor to listen to you and probably start you on a journey of healing if you need to um Charles Tebune has come in. Uh, let me remove this before he starts uh, making noise with it. Good morning, Charles Tebune. Hello, Pochi. How are you? Okay. I need to greet you. Should I give you a hug? Mm, I hope this will not be a scandal like the one I'm going to talk this morning. You are talking scandals this morning? Sure. Okay. Uh, that will be the reason why Bill O'Reilly is dropping because that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me about it, Charles. The truth is that I had so many subjects to discuss this morning. Yeah. I was going to talk about a certain consortium of parents taking yeah. ministers of God to church. But unfortunately, you see, they have called it off, suspended for the moment. So that subject, out of discussion. For today? For today. You patch uh, that paper, that p that the pieces of paper for out another of day. <laughs> anyway, just a reminder. You remember that um, Napoleon Bonaparte imprisoned the Pope, right? It's happened before. It has happened before. Mm. Um, I thought that maybe I should talk French elections, Marie Le Pen and whatsoever. I said, I'm, look. Why am oh. I thinking that could have been boring? That I did to hear that one. Yes, I, but I, this I agree. is my topic of discussion this morning. Just have a look. <laughs> that is likely to rise even further this week. When CBS asked, do you approve or disapprove of the U.S. launching missiles against Syria, 57% approve, 36% disapprove, 8% don't know. Do you have confidence in Donald Trump's ability to handle the situation in Syria? 41% confident, 54% not confident. Finally, do you think it's necessary for Congress to approve any further U.S. action in Syria? Whopping 69% say it is that Congress should get involved. 25% do not feel it's necessary. There are a number of developments on the military front this evening. U.S. warships are heading toward the Korean Peninsula because the nutty dictator of that country continues to test... Excellent. I am talking about Bill O'Reilly this morning at 67. He was the most watched of American cable television with at least 4 million viewers a night in one of the most top shows in the United States of America, at least political talk shows. Now, after a barrage of sexual assaults in which he settled paying at least $13 million to at least five women who claimed he touched them unnecessarily like I inappropriately. just... Inappropriately. Inappropriately <laughs> like I just did to Pochi. Like you did what? I shouldn't do that again. <laughs> you see, in the United States of America, you don't just touch women because you want to touch. So, Bill O'Reilly is off the screen. His employer, Fox News, owned by 21st century media guru, Rupert Madoff, says business cannot continue. And the reasons are simple. This is a program which raised billions and billions of dollars for the company, but the sexual assaults claim have cost at least 50 of the company's sponsors to quit advertising, including BMW and other big names in the advertising industry. Secondly, this company called 21st Century uh, 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 is planning to buy European broadcaster Sky News based in the United Kingdom, and the deal is expected to cost at least $14 billion. And in order to ensure integrity and respect of international norms when it comes to broadcasting, 21st century could not continue to keep Bill O'Reilly, who had spent at least 21 years in the corporation since it was conceived in 1996 to challenge CNN. The business of media. The it's business <laughs> of media. You know this guy it's was simply called the face of Fox News president. Donald Trump tried to defend him, saying he's a good guy. Please don't destroy him. That did not happen. In the United States of America, when the media start running behind 
especially against you, you have to be very careful, even if when you are part of the media. It's the story that is just unfolding because it's just cracking. By the time uh, this day ends, it will be still booming. So please watch it, and, 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 and follow it up. And do you know the nice story about it? No, tell me. What? His last picture last Wednesday was from the Vatican with the Pope. Maybe he went to confess. Um, <laughs> business of the media, who can tell? You know what, Charles Ebune, thank you for another beautiful story today. And thank Abby, you. Actually, I'm keeping this for Myra. This is, you know, when you're in the kitchen and your mom is pounding at you, you need to be far away because if you do something, cook, it goes on your head. Sure. So it looks like Myra could be naughty today. I'm keeping this for her. No. For you, it's no, time. I out. don't share naughtiness. It is exclusive. Oh. All um, right. Reserve. It's time out for Charles Ebune, and I'll see you again on Tuesday. If you'll be around, you're going to tell me if you're around. Fine, if you're not. So that's okay. I see live a life Tuesday. of Bate Bisson. I can be here just like I cannot be here. See you on Tuesday. Thank you for reminding me of Bate Bisson, and may his soul rest in peace. Uh, r in a few minutes, we're going to be receiving our guest here, thanks to Moki Edwin Kinzika, who is right here with the persons with whom we are going to be discovering uh, something I really, really invite you to stay on for. But now, huh, my producer says that's the moment when we say, I swear. So let me do this. Me, Pochi, I swear that I will serve you uh, in the, to the best of my capacity throughout 2017. And guess what? I'm not alone. All of my colleagues are saying same. Please, this, what, this is our commitment to you. We said it. We'll keep committing and committing and committing. Just enjoy. We, we bring it to you first hand. Because your life is dynamic. Nous nous adaptons à vos attentes. We are up to date with technology. We bring the news to you wherever you are. Que vous êtes notre miroir, nous vous montrerons le monde like you've never seen it before. We are on all fronts. Because you are precious. En 2017, partageons ce que nous avons de mieux. CRTV, au cœur de la nation. heart of the nation and at this moment we are at the heart of the nation let's talk about something that could be the heartbeat of the nation in the coming months or years producing cars in Cameroon like in Yaoundé or in Douala or I don't know where uh, Moki Edwin Kinzika is right here with two persons uh, let's talk cars made in Cameroon that's an interesting topic good morning good morning Pochi. how are you I'm okay all right so tell us who, who do we have we have uh, just for me that is Catherine Yihui Mm -hmm. And David Youngrich, Catherine Yiru is the deputy general manager of uh, the uh, company, Cameroon Automobile uh, Holding Company. They'll be producing the cars and then 
David, can we call it that way? Is yeah, project manager. Is. You're welcome, okay. ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, we're talking about producing cars in Cameroon. Just tell us, how was this initiative, this idea born? Um, I think talking about cars made in Cameroon is very exciting. So, it's n of course, it's not my, it's my first time to be here, but it's not my first time to be in Cameroon. We went to here five years before, and we see there are so many, uh, so beautiful country, but with so many second-hand cars. The cars with the quality is not so good mm -hmm. to take uh, to air pollution and also not quality. The quality cannot be guaranteed and also, of course, will cause some other problems. So this is our thought to that such a beautiful country and should need a car industry in the future. But, you know, the long way starts each step of each step. So we must do it right and exactly. David, so when after making that discovery that Cameroon, a beautiful country, didn't have cars that meet the quality of the beauty of the country, how was the negotiations carried out? Uh, good morning, everything, everybody. Good, good morning, Cameroon. Uh, you know, the negotiation, we, we started uh, with uh, one idea, as she said. And uh, Cameroon don't have any industry about cars. Cameroon don't have any cars industry. And, and as uh, Irwe, Irwe said, we, we, tried, we tried to set up the project and uh, propose the project to the, to, to the state, to the government. And we, were, we were received by the head of state, and he was really interested in, in such project is the reason why uh, we, f we felt confident and tried and start to, to build the project. Uh, We've been hearing about uh, a car made in Cameroon as a possibility for a while mm -hmm. and I, I, I know some of those watching us now are like when will we have the first car made in Cameroon? So um, could you, I know you said that it's a procedural thing and you need to go step by step but if you were to put it on a timeline when do you think we can start having cars made in Cameroon? I think soon, but we try to put it on the schedule maybe end of this year because right now soon the show, auto show, will, uh, will open and we received a guest from different countries, not only Cameroon, but also comes from other surrounding countries. Just as David told to us, the car industry in Cameroon is zero and it is the same situation by the surrounding countries. So we want the car to be settled first in Cameroon so that the Cameroon is can produce the car not only the first Cameroon car but also the first car in all the yes, yes, Central yeah. Africa. Mm -hmm. we, we saw the samples of those cars eh, when mm -hmm. they got to Douala yesterday and then they were brought uh, yes, here yes. to Yaoundé about 20 and I hope we'll be able to watch it, some of them as we're going on but we were just wondering Mm -hmm. Why assemble cars in China mm -hmm. and bring them to Cameroon and call them Cameroon cars? Why didn't we just assemble it on the spot and mm -hmm. then show to the people that these are your cars? Yes, that's an important question. You see that right now the 20 cars are for the show is Finnish cars from China. But just as I introduced that, the, the such a huge pro project must be carried out step by step. And right now, based on the industry standard of Cameroon and also surrounding countries. So right now, it cannot reach the very high level industry industry level. So that means master step, for example, the first begin with assembling and then um, progressively move, yes, move them back Yes, to that's right. I'm going to mm -hmm. ask a question about uh, transfer of knowledge mm -hmm. because but we hear that often and I'm going to ask that to David because mm -hmm. uh, we are very interested not only having cars made in Cameroon mm -hmm. but in being able to upgrade our know-how in car production in the long run mm -hmm. so w could you address that issue to us it's true it's procedural it will take a while we need to start by assembling the cars in China but uh, could you comment on technology transfer or mm, knowledge transfer? I would like to argue about what, what she said before. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, um, why producing Cameroon car in China? It's not, it's not that the issue. 
We are not producing Cameroon car in, car in China. It is about samples. We want to show the samples to Cameroonians. The samples and of the cars that we produce to here. Pro to, to produce here. Okay. Okay. And you see, it's not more. It's, it's no more. There, there's no more Chinese car now. You you, you see the brand. Made the brand. Cameroon. The brand is made in Cameroon. Okay. So it's the same brand we are going to produce in Cameroon with the same assembly line, because we are going to transfer the assembly line to Cameroon. If we transfer the assembly line to Cameroon, it's a transfer. If it's, it's a technology transfer. Why did you decide mm -hmm. to? Yeah, to we to have plan the that, that of, uh, some of the of cars, cars in the okay. These are the samples of the cars we can watch here. Mm -hmm. Now, but um, what you decided to take the, the company to Kribi. Kribi, yeah. Why did you make the choice of Kribi? Some people think that Douala or another town, maybe Limbe. Is it related to the sea? Uh, why, it's why, related, why the choice it, of Kribi? It was related to the sea. And, uh, you know, it, Kribi is uh, in the future, it's, it's a big city. With Become a tourist, big and economic city. Is the reason why we because Kribi is also a seaport. City. Seaport. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, seaport. you want to be Deep able sea. to bring in things okay. through the. Butchers was asking about transfer of technology, but let me just get curious about this. We'll get there. <laughs> Are you going to make all these parts in China and then you transport them by sea and bring to Cameroon and assemble here? Then you call them Cameroon cars. Oh, we're going to use some local material. We have Vice iron ascending. here as well. yes, <laughs> This is a big subject because mm -hmm. our design for car project is not only for a couple years, but at least maybe 10 years. Okay. So, so many will happen uh, after 10 years. So at the first beginning right now, some, for example, Cameroon is full of iron, but iron, when you use iron to make the steel, it will need some time, take okay. some time. When that is enough that is ready to produce the car of course here is full of food of that we can do okay. it's just as but right now we pull it just backwards the car is the finish so we have to move backwards okay. so mm -hmm. this let is me the ask uh, that. Uh, one of uh, um, I'm sorry if that could embarrass mm -hmm. you I hope you're very used to questions mm -hmm. like that <laughs> in, in Cameroon and in many African countries when we have uh, technology coming from China one of the things people worry about is quality Mm -hmm. So, uh, because I know uh, when, when you ask somebody who has money to buy a car, mm -hmm. he will tell you I want to buy in Europe because I want to be sure. Mm -hmm. So could you comment on the, the quality of mm -hmm. the cars that will be made in Cameroon with uh, t technological support and all kinds of support from China? Mm -hmm. uh, in one word, the quality cannot be guaranteed with the word perfect, perfect. Okay. So it's just the machine. Mm, I discussed crap it like a body. It can get sick, but you go to the doctor and it's well. As uh, the first time we come to Cameroon, we see that too many second-hand cars mm -hmm. and without after service. So after service and maintenance is very necessary and very important to keep a car healthy and long life. Okay. So mm -hmm. this is also what we, this habit is also what we want to bring here. Not go to the doctor after you get sick just go to the doctor to keep you are always For healthy maintaining. yes mm. Mm -hmm. how different would those cars be from the cars that we are made in europe are made in in nigeria like if you were to buy a new car in europe you see you see i would like to say something very important thing. Uh, car industry mm -hmm. is universal yes it's the same Indeed. industry we have in europe that we have in china and that we will have uh, in cameroon and that we will have in cameroon is mm -hmm. sort of transfer of technology. So the cars quality are the same quality with your cars. You you can see uh, you have been in China? No, yeah. I haven't no. been in China. You, you, have to, mm -hmm. you have to get there. You okay. see those cars are used for So if it's the same car. quality, would it be the same price? Because that is where Cameroon <laughs> 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 How much are you use going a lot to sell money to in Cameroon cars? <laughs> What is the price? I know there are, there's a variety of them, and even so just tell us about the price for an Giri average Cameroonian. Who is going to tell us about uh, that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is very interesting issue. Of course, our target is to bring the best car with the competitive price, mm -hmm. but because there are some issues that we are still under negotiation with the government, of course, we want to reduce our cost and to let the Cameroonian to afford the car with the best price. 
Mm -hmm. Just give us an estimate. Eh? David, okay, we'll yes. give us a give an estimate. Yeah. Is it possible? Let, let's start preparing. Give us a Cameroonian, Cameroonian <laughs> like to, 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 to listen to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important for them. Because you know people are very interested in mm -hmm. this topic. So mm -hmm. even if you can't give us uh, the price, and that's understandable because you have issues, you're still discussing with the government. Yeah, I mean, you mm -hmm. want to give us a range? Uh, Please, uh, we need, uh, could you give us a range? Like, would it be between 5,000 francs and want? 1 million? Mm, would it be? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the range is between... Four million and six million for a new car. For, for a, a new, new car, car. No, the, the, the the small car, yes, the small car, small car, car. used for cars. used for transport, the taxi, and so on. Uh, the small okay. Car. No, but I followed the report that was yeah. from Douala, yeah. mm -hmm. and there are certain things Cameroonians are already questioning. Mm -hmm. If cars are made in Cameroon, then why do people? Potential buyers, why would they need to go and meet the customs department to negotiate to pay custom duties? No, 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 no. That is what was said in the No, no. If, if, what they said was about the fair, the, 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 the show. The auto the, show. The, yes. the auto show. The okay. sample. The, the, the that sample. If you want that, the sample. That, if okay. you want the sample, you can take the sample, but you have to pay. You go through and customs and so on. We have just received a question here from mm -hmm. somebody who's called Jacob in Bamenda and he's asking. Are we talking about assembling cars in Cameroon yeah. or producing cars yeah. in Cameroon? Mm -hmm. And uh, David, you're saying it's a good question. Please, <laughs> good you question. want to clarify, Jacob? For it's, a, it's a good question. Uh, for the implementation of this project, we have the, the SKD process. The SKD process is the semi knockdown. Semi knockdown is that you is part of vehicles you have to assemble. Okay. okay? That's the first step of the project. The next step is the CKD process, complete knock down. down. Okay. That is to say, we have to, we, we, we are going to construct the, the, the vehicle from the small spare parts. Okay. So you can have some spare parts we produce uh, locally, uh, as battery, as uh, tires, mm, some glasses and so on. So. There is something I, I want to say. If you listen to some, somebody says uh, in South Africa they produce car, no, it's not produce, it's a assembly. Okay. So we are going to be the first in Africa to construct car in Cameroon within 10 years. Um, co correct me if I'm wrong, though, but uh, it's also not a bad thing for cars to be assembled in a place because you can't construct the car 100% in one in place, right? You, get, right? you get pieces from... Different mm -hmm. parts. Is that true? Yes, is that that's true? right. Is that okay. true? Right. Yes. Is that true? Yes. So the the big factor that this that decide where it is a CKD or SKD. It, for example, if there is a tire factory here, mm -hmm. if there is um, um glass factory. yes glass, glass factory, factory here mm -hmm. and so on. Iron melting. Yes. Say, yes. Yes. That. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, j just talking about um, you said in about five months this will be possible. At the end of this year. End of this year. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Are you already recruiting staff? People are already listening now. With their I know. Ears. We hear people about six have thousand pens people have to, to, to get your names mm -hmm. rightly, so, so they can. How well far are you going with the recruitment exercise? Or the close to six thousand people you say will be uh, ne needed, employed okay. directly and indirectly. We are not uh, receiving uh, files from from those who like to work with us. From maybe three years before we, we started receiving files, as I told you yesterday. Uh, you have files. Files. <laughs> uh, we have files. So we who are files. those applying? Are they uh, mechanics? And what kind yeah, of, what kind of, what what kind of you need? Uh, are you looking at? Mechanics and uh, economy. Uh, the, 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 every, everyone. Okay. Everyone. But we, we are going to select. But there is one thing very important. For this project, we, have, we, we, we must have a car. Uh, car uh, we, are, we are going to teach to Cameroonia how to, to construct cars. That's what Pochi mm -hmm. asks about transfer mm -hmm. of technology. Mm -hmm. We know that people have this impression about China that they don't want, they always want to keep their technology, they don't want to transfer technology. So, what place are you giving the transfer of technology? Pochi asked earlier in mm -hmm. this project. So, I want to answer that in the other way because right now we are talking about the trans. Trans, uh, tra technology trans transfer. Te yes, technology transfer from China to Cameroon. But I think. We, I, I just want people to understand in the other way. In China, there is car industry, but right now in Cameroon, it is zero. Once the car industry settled down here in Cameroon, the 
the, this industry, this industry developed here, mm -hmm. it will need some technique. And what kind of technique is needed, we transfer it and okay. we support it from China. So, uh, but you may see, maybe you may see some people who can just like David, he can know SKD or CKD very well, better than you. Mm -hmm. But with the development, much more people will get to know that. And this is just human, human resources. Besides, okay. be, besides there is equipment. Mm -hmm. You have to know how, you have to know how, how to operate sure, that. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure, sure. And besides, there is some um, colleagues and schools that we use to a training center, for example, training center mm -hmm. to let much more people to get trained here and get to know better of cars. So after that, and, and besides there is equipment. So the technique is driven by the human resources and also machines, but machines can be better. There can always come new machines and the new technique. But finally, what we just, uh, emphasize is that to teach Cameroonian to produce a car, not always come. This is th oh. this is the very important thing. So let me ask you, you this mm -hmm. question, uh, mm -hmm. ma'am. You're the deputy general manager of this company, mm -hmm. and uh, I've heard it very clearly how we need this mm -hmm. venture, and I hope it goes through. But is it a good business venture? What is in it for you coming from China? Mm -hmm. Why would you want to? Why were you? Why are you in Cameroon? You're not a philanthropic group. I mean, it's <laughs> 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 so tell me about your mind. What brings you in this project? Mm -hmm. uh, actually, one of uh, I'm also one part of the project. Okay. At the first day, at the first beginning, I involved and a bit, uh, yes, of course, we have a big team. David is one of our members, and okay. we have a good and excellent leader. Right. right now, he is, but today, lucky, unfortunately, he cannot come. Right. And besides, we have some expert also in car industry in China for maybe 30 or 40 years old. Okay. And we have a group. And besides, we believe that such beautiful country w must have a brighter future. So we want to be the one that we can bring it and yes. we you can, can contribute to that. David, yes. mm -hmm. the, road, the cars you're going to be making, you've seen there's so many bad roads that are in the <laughs> country, <laughs> going to the farms in the West region and those are, are you making cars that will be, will suit the local uh, environment? Yeah, we, we are doing that because, because I mean, you, you reinforce the shock. Uh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, you reinforce <laughs> the shock and, and we, no, uh, when, uh, yesterday when the cars arrived here, when they we asked some questions to the, to the drivers, Cameroon and Cameroon mm -hmm. driver, they said, very, very, very good things. They About the, the car? The, the after, the driving the after driving the car. The car was wa stable. Okay. And uh, wa even when you have shock, you don't, you, you, you you don't, don't feel, it. feel it. And it was very, it was very encouraging. For, for let's let's just move on to the... Well, Mokijo, the let me take this out of your mind. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I know that people want some of those sample the cars out there. How much are they going for? At least you should know the prices of those. Of those no, no, no. We are, we are, not, we are not selling the cars. Okay. okay, because in a while ago so I heard of cluster, the cars. So what, what is going to what are you going to be exhibiting during the car exhibition, the automobile exhibition tomorrow? What do, what, is, what do you expect from Cameroonians and what are you going to be? No, we expect from Cameroon to from Cameroon and Cameroon we get there and try the cars and test and give some su suggestions to us. It's it's very important, uh, you know. Uh, Remind uh, us this where and when the days of this mm, appointment. It's from, uh, 20th to the 26th yeah. of April okay. at the uh, Palais des Sports. Okay, mm -hmm. this multiple, multiple sports, sports, sports conference. conference. Multiple yeah. conference. From yeah. the 20th, yeah. find yourself in Yaoundé so that you can have a very close look at these cars and have a chance to talk to the people who make them. Maybe you could contribute to make them better so we could all drive them uh, in the coming years. Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Si, si. And uh, Moki also, thank you so much. I hope you'll be waiting for your car in five months. I will be waiting. <laughs> can you say the word in Chinese? Yeah. How do you say that? And I'm happy speaking Chinese. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you say thank you in Chinese? Shishi. Shishi. And how do you say thank you? How do you respond? Huh? How, how do you, do you respond? respond? Bukochi. 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 Yes. All right. <laughs> well, it's now that we take a moment of advertisement before we get into the news for the 8 o'clock news, news. Here we go.
Voici le X-Malea Campus Tour 2017. Une plateforme de mise en valeur des talents locaux. Huit spectacles populaires dans les villes universitaires du Cameroun. Chang, Poya, Pamenda, Marwa, Garwa, Gaoundere, Douala, Yaoundé 1 et 2. Une belle communion avec les millions de fans. Annonceurs, mécènes, sponsors. Voici l'occasion idéale pour toucher vos cibles. Contactez la CRTV Marketing and Communication Agency CMCA pour plus d'informations. La force syrienne est de retour, il va vous en mettre plein les yeux à la maison du parti du Mfoudi à Yaoundé. Du 10 avril au 10 mai, faites le plein avec les merveilles syriennes. Salon de qualité, tapis, lustre en plaqué or, rideau haut de gamme, matelas médical, accessoires pour ameublement, robe de mariage, vêtements et chaussures pour hommes, femmes et enfants. Parfum, maquillage, bijoux, on n'oublie pas la confection gratuite de vos rideaux. Tous les jours, de 10h à 19h. La déco orientale, plus ultra, à la foire syrienne. Tous les jours, du 10 avril au 10 mai. Madame, Monsieur, bonjour. Bienvenue aux 8 heures. Joseph Charles Ndumba entame aujourd'hui son dernier voyage. Le chef de l'État a décidé des obsèques officielles pour ce haut commis de l'État. Ambassadeur itinérant à la présidence de la République, ancien secrétaire général du comité central du Rassemblement démocratique du peuple camerounais, ancien ministre, la levée de corps a lieu tout à l'heure à 11h. Ce sera l'hôpital général de Yaoundé et le chef de l'État y sera représenté par Jean Couetté, le secrétaire général du comité central du RDPC. La Commission nationale des droits de l'homme et des libertés tient sa 22e session ordinaire ce matin à la Chambre de commerce ici même à Yaoundé. Le docteur Shemuta Diva Mbanda préside les travaux qui vont se porter sur l'examen et l'adoption du rapport sur l'état des droits de l'homme au Cameroun, puis l'examen et l'adoption du projet de budget 2018 de la Commission, entre autres sujets qui seront à l'ordre du jour. Le ministre d'État, ministre de la Justice, garde des Sceaux, le ministre de l'Enseignement supérieur et le ministre de la Fonction publique et de la Réforme administrative ont conjointement signé deux décisions. La première porte création d'une commission mixte chargée de déterminer le contenu des programmes de formation des élèves de l'ENAM. La deuxième porte création d'une commission mixte chargée de préciser le contenu des programmes d'enseignement des matières juridiques en vue des carrières judiciaires. Le garde des Sceaux a par ailleurs signé un arrêté portant création d'un groupe de travail chargé de la conduite des opérations de renforcement des capacités des services judiciaires anglophones. La, la synthèse de tous ces textes, c'est avec Séverin Allégambé. Le groupe de travail, comme le désigne l'arrêté du ministre d'État Laurent Esso, a pour tâche principale la conception et le suivi de la mise en œuvre du renforcement des capacités des magistrats et greffiers anglophones en droit administratif et en matière de comptes. Et dans la composition de cet organe présidé par le ministre de la Justice, Garde des Sceaux, on retrouve les représentants des chambres des comptes, ceux du ministère de l'Enseignement supérieur. Le groupe de travail est doté d'un secrétariat technique chargé de rédiger, entre autres, le rapport annuel sur l'exécution des missions de l'organe, un rapport soumis à l'ascension du président de la République. Sur les deux décisions conjointes portant création d'une commission mixte, regroupant les personnes désignées par les ministères de la Justice, de l'Enseignement supérieur et de la fonction publique, on retient que c'est une instance chargée de déterminer le contenu des programmes de formation des élèves de la division de la magistrature et des greffes de l'École nationale d'administration et de magistrature. Placée sous la supervision du ministre de la Justice, elle devra aussi préciser le contenu des programmes d'enseignement des matières juridiques dans les universités en vue des carrières judiciaires. Comme le groupe de travail, la commission mixte est dotée d'un secrétariat technique dont la composition est constatée par une décision du ministre de la Justice. La commission dispose d'un délai de quatre mois pour accomplir sa mission et dresser un rapport final au président de la République. 
La compagnie aérienne Tamerco est désormais propriétaire de deux avions, les Boeing 737 et 700 jusque-là, loués par la compagnie aérienne camerounaise, font donc partie désormais de sa flotte. Le ministre des Transports, Alain Mbongo, a signé hier l'acquisition des droits de propriété. Suivons les détails avec Olivier Kingemoui. Elles ont tiré allure les hôtesses de Camerco. Elles accompagnent diverses catégories de passagers dans les nouveaux appareils de la compagnie. Il y en a parmi eux qui sont logés en business class, ce sont les VIP et d'autres en classe éco. Fiers eux aussi de partager cette cause nationale qu'est Camerco au moment de l'acquisition du droit de propriété de la compagnie sur les aéronefs Boeing 737 et 700, matérialisé par cette remise officielle de documents. L'acquisition de ces deux avions de type Boeing 737-700 nouvelle génération au profit de la flotte de Camerco s'inscrit bel et bien dans le droit fil de l'implémentation effective de son plan de relance approuvé par le chef de l'État. Cette acquisition vient porter à 5 le nombre d'appareils de Camerco dans le vent du redressement. L'action de redressement ainsi entamée, dont les principales articulations ne sont pas toujours visibles par tout le monde, est la preuve que la contre-performance de Camerco ne peut pas être considérée comme une fatalité. Il faut vouloir le redressement. Il faut croire au redressement. Il faut soutenir le redressement. C'est l'expression de l'engagement des pouvoirs publics pour redonner définitivement vie à l'étoile du Cameroun. Ces deux nouveaux appareils, naguère exploités sous conditions de leasing, disposent chacun d'un potentiel de 100 000 cycles. En langage aéronautique, on parle de décollage et d'atterrissage. À date, ils ont à peine atteint 20% du dit potentiel, ce qui est la garantie de leur fiabilité. L'acquisition qui met fin aux charges locatives énormes permettra à Camerco de programmer en toute liberté et sérénité l'exploitation de ces avions sans préjudice aucun. Le transport d'électricité produit par Lompanga dans la région de l'Est devrait recevoir des financements de la Banque africaine de développement. Le portefeuille des projets a été évalué hier à Bertois. Les détails, c'est avec notre, notre reporter Georges Alain Eyango. Des projets financés par la Banque africaine de développement au Cameroun, le barrage hydroélectrique de Lompangar occupe une place de choix. Pour la mise sur pied imminente de ce projet cher à la vision émergente du gouvernement, Bertois a abrité les travaux de la 40e réunion trimestrielle d'évaluation des projets financés par la BAT au Cameroun. Une séance d'évaluation où la société EDC, Electricity Development Corporation, le Minipat et les bailleurs de fonds impliqués dans le projet ont associé leurs idées pour mieux surmonter les obstacles auxquels ils pourront faire face sur le terrain. On ne peut pas occulter les difficultés que nous avons dans l'exécution des projets. Ces difficultés, c'est le démarrage tardif de ces projets, mais également ces difficultés qui tiennent compte à la mobilisation que l'on doit renforcer des fonds de contrepartie, mais également à la problématique de la passation des marchés. À travers ces travaux, de nouvelles recommandations visant à accélérer la mise en œuvre des projets financés par la BAT devront être formulées. Pour ce qui est du barrage de Lompangar, sa ligne de haute tension passera par Bertois, Batouri et Abomban avant d'alimenter les ménages de près de 150 localités de la région de l'Est à travers sa ligne de basse et moyenne tension. Quant à l'usine de pied située à proximité, sa livraison est prévue au mois de décembre 2018. Les populations de l'extrême nord, quant à elles, vivent déjà le bonheur d'une bonne connexion électrique. 35 villages de ce département voient leur quotidien changer grâce à l'achèvement du réseau électrique. L'impact de cette réalisation, c'est dans ce reportage que signe Aladji Mustapha de CATV Extrême Nord. Guérémé, ici dans le département du Mayokani, est désormais connecté au réseau électrique. Un rêve devenu réalité, comme ce village. 120 localités des trois régions septentrionales du nord-ouest et de l'ouest sortiront de l'obscurité. Dans le septentrion, 4086 branchements électriques sont réalisés dans 35 villages bénéficiaires et 2871 coffrets équipés de compteurs installés. Ici, dans la région de l'extrême nord, 921 ménages de sept villages sont déjà électrifiés. Je remercie toute l'équipe de l'électrification. 
toute la population comme j'ai dit, ça devait être le chef de l'État. Une commission conduite par le directeur général de l'agence d'électrification rurale, AER, s'est rendue dans les villages pour la réception provisoire de ces installations électriques. Après avoir fait un tour lors de la pré-réception des ouvrages et aujourd'hui pour la réception provisoire des ouvrages, je puis vous assurer que l'AER est pleinement satisfaite pour la qualité des réseaux qui ont été construits. Pour le directeur général de l'AER, ces réalisations sont à mettre à l'actif du chef de l'État, Paul Biya. Le chef de l'État est là pour assurer le ciment de se vivre ensemble. Et par des gestes de ce genre, je pense que les Camerounais doivent savoir qu'ils ont un chef, et un chef qui ne veut que de leur bien. La mise en service de ces ouvrages va certainement booster le développement dans ces villages désormais éclairés. En sport, la dixième journée du championnat de Ligue 1 s'est disputée hier sur l'étendue du territoire. Ici à Yaoundé au stade militaire, une espoir de Honkam a fait un match nul avec APGS Binfou, un but partout. Dragon a battu New Star par deux buts contre un. Le compte rendu, c'est avec Monique Félicité Tchoum. Dragon de Yaoundé doit sa victoire à l'héroïque Thierry Tonnier, auteur d'un doublé à la seconde mi-temps. Face à son ancien club, l'attaquant du Dragon s'est surpassé malgré sa blessure. Une victoire face à New Stars de Douala qui a pourtant ouvert la marque en première mi-temps. Deux buts à un, score final et place à la seconde rencontre. Elle a opposé APGS Nofou à Unisport du Honkam. Les deux équipes se neutralisent à la première manche jusqu'à cette faute lourde sur Leonard Chumpa. Penalty transformé par Adolphe Mwandjo. Face à une équipe techniquement et tactiquement assise, les hommes du coach Sogba Oumaru parviennent néanmoins à l'égalisation grâce à cette tête bien placée de Jacques Oli. Un but partout à l'issue du duel. Les rencontres de la 11e journée sont prévues le week-end prochain et dimanche, le duel Colombe-UMS sera diffusé en direct sur la CRTV. Madame, Monsieur, c'est la fin de ce point d'information. Merci de l'avoir suivi. Je vous laisse en compagnie de Pochi Sambasso. Marie-Laurence Kay, thank you so much for Merci. the news of today. Merci. And I uh, wish you a happy, uh, happy day ahead. Mm. I'll see you again on Tuesday, but have a beautiful weekend in between because we'll be seeing after a weekend. Merci, mais j'en prends une journée demain. <laughs> yes, you'll be here with Eric Christiania yeah. for the Friday. Yeah. Uh, for Bonjour le Cameroon. Yeah. Um, do you want anything to start your day? Should I give you a banana, a mango, a watermelon? Je connais mon goût déjà. <laughs> 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 yeah, have a banana. Okay, merci. Have a beautiful day. Merci. Okay. Now, if you're preparing a wedding and you're thinking how to wow everybody at the wedding, please, you need to stay put. You don't need to move an inch from where you are right now. This is a couple. They are white. They are American. And they know how to keep people. Oh, just what? This is Freestyle on Hello Cameroon. You get sprung. Wanna pull up tough? Cause you notice that butt was stuck. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh, baby, I wanna get whipped out and take your 
Soldier Boy Tell. Hey, I got the new damn for y'all called a Soldier Boy. You got a punch, then crank back three times from left to right. Soldier Boy, I'm finished. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? Why me crank that Soldier Boy, that Superman? That oh. Now why me? Crank that Soldier Boy. Now why me? You. Crank that Soldier Boy. Now why me? You. Crank that Soldier Boy. Now why me? You. Crank that Soldier Boy. Now why? Soldier Boy, I'm finished. Oh. Why me crank it? Why me roll? Why me crank that Soldier Boy, that Superman? That oh. If you are planning a wedding, I hope you stay with us because that couple just showed us that huh, it starts with you. The fun, you know, the jumping, the happiness, it starts with you and you can define how it's going to continue. I, I just totally love that moment. The man with his team, the lady with her team and everybody doing the thing. We are about now, I was going to bring a thermometer so that we try to keep the temperature <laughs> in this room under control, but I forgot the thermometer. But I have this thing though. This thing that, uh, unfortunately, this one is not long enough, but you know that thing, right? That your mama's when in the you kitchen. You just hear, you just see it coming closer. So, Myra Abenando is sitting near me, and we're about to talk beauty. But today she's talking about hygiene over the floor, or, uh, not over the floor. <laughs> the, <laughs> Myra, your topic today is terrible. No. Over to you. Introduce, introduce <laughs> me properly. Ah, uh, and look at it, we have hygiene. the same colors. Yeah, right. Yeah. What hygiene? What hygiene are we talking the about? The hygiene of uh no, 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 of no your ass. body. <laughs> what body? What body? Well, she she said it on Tuesday that today we're going to be talking about a woman's private hygiene, how to keep yourself clean. I said it in the best of English I could. Now, uh, Mayra, what are we talking about today? All right. Um, you actually went looking for words to help you. Yes. Have a safe conversation today. On my Facebook page, <laughs> I asked people to give me uh, different synonyms to be able to refer to the female private part because mm -hmm. because that what we're cleaning today. There were ten thousands of them, but mm. somebody just killed me, and that was my favorite. I think it's Priestley A. Ayok. He's my <laughs> friend on Facebook, and give he says the Cape of Good Hope. Right. <laughs> so we are cleaning the Cape of Good Hope. Please, thank you very much, Chris. <laughs> you are there. But um, it's a boy. It's a boy. I'm thinking, like, what, is, what came through his mind? And he had, you'll be surprised, he had some very positive things to say. And he said he's so mad that each time they talk about the female private part or anything woman, it's about insults. It's I'm about you. degrading the woman or making her look like she's so cheap. But he said it was a cape of good hope. Because is he a medical doctor? He is not. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll find out. He said... That is everything about the woman, and that is why men are even existing anyway. Thank you. That's oh. what he said. 
If I, that's why you and I were exist, I mean, yeah. that's why mankind exists. Now, how do you clean it so that mankind should not be <laughs> extinct? <laughs> Myra Abenondo has been doing a thorough research on the things in life, like simple things like yogurt yeah. that help you to stay clean and healthy for the welfare of the whole wide world. Myra. The Cape of Good Hope. Cape of Good Hope. Some people said it was a hoo-ha. Okay. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> names. But listen, this morning, maybe we'll call it the Vajayjay. Yeah. Call it, it the Vajayjay. It's possible, right? Call it the, the You were telling me the other day, Myra, whatever <laughs> you do, just get a name. Don't I can imagine you, 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 you out there, and I just, you, you are crazy, but we are not. We are fine. We're just teaching you how to be clean. And uh, Myra wants to call it the Vajayj, and I want to call it the V-spot. Whatever it is, ah, let's start cleaning this thing now, Myra. All right. Point number one says that the first rule every woman should understand and respect and keep the is underwear. the fact that your underwear mm. must really come in 99.99% cotton. Why? Okay. Because medics are saying that they absorb all moisture that is around that area. It keeps it clean, and it's also a safe spot for you. Even if you love panties that are made of lace, uh, polyester, latex, or whatever, you should make sure that the top scotch part of it that is underneath that, is of cotton. that protects beneath there should be made of cotton, but it is really safer when you go with panties that is 99.99% cotton because that is what is healthy. That is what we should get. A lot of people these days don't really think that the pa because the panty cotton, uh, the, the cotton panties, I beg your pardon, come in very funny shapes and sizes. They have do. you noticed? Yes. Have you noticed? They do. And they have this rubber, but they tend to have a rubber, a band, rubber band that kind of holds your waist. And a lot, so of, people <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people say it's, it's a big mummy panty. It's not very or aesthetic or whatever. But then they are safer if you want to stay safe. That is then. what is safe for you. Mm. And they say healthy things are never really attractive not always. or beautiful. But you, should, you need to see the ones that come in lace. Okay. They are like so the ones I'm seeing on TV. Right. Point number two, Pochi, it might surprise you. But I just want to let you know beauty mm -hmm. is right here. And, <laughs> <laughs> and beauty team, thank you for coming. We are right in the middle of a discussion about how to clean the cape of good hope. And we are begging you to respect yourself. How to clean the cape of good hope. Yes. Please just don't say stay, anything. Just, just stay listen. Point <laughs> <Listen. laughs> number two um, remains with going commando. Okay. Hmm. Do you know what that is? Yeah, doing some sports, fitness? No, going commando <laughs> is you going back home. Okay. You've been with your panties like the whole day and maybe some other thing on the knee to maybe oh, fit your Myra. dress. Oh, Myra. And so, yeah. Okay. And so it's, it's sweaty. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> and you go home and you, you go still, commando. You go commando. Okay. All right. Throw something on you. <laughs> yes. Medical experts are saying that you have to let it breathe. You have, to, you have to let it feel free. <laughs> but that should be at home. I didn't say go commando in the market. <laughs> I didn't say go commando to your office. But there are some hours that you Commanding what? There are some commando. I don't care about you. We, we said you should respect yourself. There are some hours that you must give time. the Vajayjay breathing space. space and fresh yeah, air. Yeah. No, I don't well know said. whether it's when you're sleeping I'm or whatever. I'm sweating already but in this place. You need to take off hours during the day and go commando. I'm done with that point. It. If you want to stay with it, it's your problem. I'm Damn All right, man. I take you to the gym. <laughs> I take you to the gym right now. Women want to exercise all the time because we want to keep the muscles and the body firm. But this is very important. Sometimes you say that sometimes the leggings that we wear or whatever we wear mm. to take to the gym is always very tight fitting mm -hmm. because it's recommended. We need that. And you go like, okay, I'll be sweating a lot. Maybe I don't really need underwears because it, it will be sweaty and things like that. But that's the mistake you're making because you're allowing germs and bacteria. Everything that comes out when to you're have sweating. To have direct contact with your body. To have direct contact with your body. Mm -hmm. And that area is so fragile and you should be very careful with it. So when you're going to the gym, don't go commando. You need to put on something. She and said it. If you want to wear kabangondo like the, we, the women traditionally wear, or do it at home, not at, at the home. gym. Not at the gym. Mm. And when you're at the gym, that's when you should even wear your favorite cotton pants. Even get a cotton boxer. Okay. That is what will be really appropriate for you. It's comfortable. It's comfortable, mm. definitely. And who would have ever imagined that yogurt plays a role in keeping the vajayj clean? I learned that from you. Yeah, right. Mm. And this is but what you happens. Say it doesn't have to be the sweet one. It doesn't have to be the sweet one. Mm. But we take first of all the fact that it comes with life cultures that uh, would promote the growth of good bacteria. That is the lactobacilli that protects that area, the vajayj. And that is what you should be taking. It's really, really important. But you shouldn't take what is sweet. 
because you might just be promoting the bad bacteria instead to multiply. Mm. In case okay. you even have an infection already, you might feel the itches and the pain. Remember when we were in school, there's this word, they say sugar, sugar? Yes. Like when you see a girl doing that, everybody mm. saying, mm, mm. sugar, sugar, don't sugar, catch sugar, you and yeah. stuff like that. And, and you can pick you, that from anywhere. You would imagine all the sweet things you have in your trunk, mm -hmm. if your body go all the chocolate and the biscuits that you're eating and you don't know that you're just killing yourself so you should be very careful another point that we often neglect you think that bathing twice a day or 15 times a day keeps you healthy or that yeah you're with one man you're healthy or a no. vajayjay douche is good no it's I not i am coming to that point <laughs> all right but this point is saying that you must run. Beauty didn't need uh, <laughs> napkins. <laughs> <That's sure. laughs> is, uh, I'm really sweaty, man. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody gives me. Somebody I told you give me. Somebody needs a napkin. Me, uh, yeah. But Mara, it's sure. a wiping paper, Annually, man. Annually, <laughs> <laughs> sweat is your stress. I don't care about you. I want to ask wipe. <laughs> we just have to go through with this thing. So can you just sit quiet so that we wrap up? Mm. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So your annual exams are very, very important. You need to check out if everything is okay. Sometimes... It's difficult, difficult for us to pee mm. like anyway, just like the men can do. Yeah. So we need to be really careful. You Good don't think know for us what then. has been happening. So go, sometimes even the underwear that you use, it's advisable that after a few months, you discard you and get mm -hmm. new ones. Those can even cause you infections too. You're washing them with soap. Mm. You're washing them with detergent. You don't know if you've rinsed them enough. Sometimes it's really good you to rinse with warm water. Them, like you don't know where you sunny. dry them. Mm -hmm. You don't sun them properly. You don't iron them. It's terrible. So you ah, don't know what you can cause yourself. Is complicated. Yes. So run for your annual exams and check out if the VJJ is healthy or it's okay. And this is another point. This is something that we don't know. The VJJ was naturally designed as an automatic engine that can cleanse itself, itself on its own. Women, I am screaming on this point because there are thousands of beauty products in the shop that are telling you that you need to use this for douching. Put perfume here. Who goes down there to check out the perfume when you're dressed up and moving on the street? I'm well, take begging. it from me. It has natural perfume. <laughs> it's what she was said it. All right. And so, I'm all quiet. City, shut up. Rest. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what happened. No soaps, no perfumes, no whatever deodorant, whatever people are putting there. You please you get into a girl's bathroom and you see a small basket standing by everything, douching this, that, that. A whole commando set. Nah, please. Nah. <laughs> Dump the set. <laughs> you know what I'll call you today? The chorus. <laughs> <laughs> You're all set. Yeah. What for? So, oh so <laughs> intravaginal hygiene should be avoided. And as simple as possible. Yes. What you're using there is just mm. clean water. That is what is healthy for you. Yeah. And then we talk about antibiotics. It is important that we understand when you have problems and the doctor prescribed them for you, you should follow the rules. If they say for one week, take for one week, for three days, take for three days, for a month, take for a month. Don't stay after that and then you have another situation and you say, ah, this looks like what happened the other time and so the doctor me gave get me what I got this. Last time. And you run to the mm -hmm. pharmacy again and you're buying and you're using. You are helping your system, especially the flesh around the vajayjay, to kill all the lactobacilli that will protect you instead and you are destroying all the antibodies that can fight that stress. So mm. antibiotics are a little bit of a danger zone for you when you're taking them without prescription or when you're taking an overdose. If whatever situation you're suffering from doesn't work, please just go back to the doctor and he is best to advise you on how to go about it. It's a little bit complicated. So women, we really have to be on our toes. And the last point, uh, you want to say something for the last point? I was going to say, if you have any problem whatsoever with that spot, please don't. You, 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 are, you, you must not know everything. It's your body. But there are some people who've trained for six years, seven years, eight years. Twelve. Twelve at times. And others have been working for 30 years. Only. How that mechanism works. And their job is to serve you and I. Mm -hmm. So please, it's not for nothing that, you know, I don't know if men have a doctor for that spot. They do. But women have a doctor for that spot. Please go to them. And they will not, sh you don't be shy. Ask them the questions and they'll help you. Yeah. They'll teach you and you'll be healthier. And you can keep <laughs> reproducing and, and, and everything. Myra, <laughs> finish it. All right. <coughs> and the last <coughs> point is definitely going to make Titi jump. Every time, last oh, point. You are not landing. Last okay, point. please see land. I'm, see, I'm sweating okay. here. Okay, you should be very mindful of the other, of mm. sexual intercourse. Let me break. Mm. Let me land. I am coming. Now, when you need to reverse a car, do I need this? You change speed? Mm -hmm. No, you don't need that. I'm so nice today. <laughs>
when, I, when you need to Please, reverse the car, right? This is when the lecture is interesting. I want to take the whip. See, I don't care I'm, I'm about all, you this yes, morning. I'm all right? Do I need this? No, you don't need that. <laughs> we don't need that. Nice. We don't need that now. We are mature people. All right, go on. <laughs> I will be very nice. So when you need to change, if you're reversing, is it forward or backward yeah. or whatever? You change the speed like, yeah. level, right? Mm -hmm. Is it one, two, three? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing you should do. Science <sighs> says that do not go from front to back or from back to front without changing. This necessarily means that if you are a round one, round two kind of person when it comes to sexual intercourse, please clean up after round one. Why? Because a lot of terrible things have come up and you're taking them again to put them inside when you're going for round two. Uh, that and could be a lot of interruption <coughs> in the action. No? <coughs> but Myra, thank you so much. <laughs> no, who goes from round one to round two without the pause? Uh, please, can, 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 can I say something? Can I now? Can I, can I now yes, talk? please breathe. After uh, wiping uh, your face profusely, it's <laughs> really sweating. I know. Myra, um, I'm not just sweating. Ah, Myra, I'm sweating uh, right. <coughs> like we killed you. Uh, don't worry. I don't You're have a mind. JJ, but I'm okay. You're but a mind. I'm a mind. <laughs> there is something. Avoid sending stuff in there Please. that I'm not the pick. Please. It should be the P, the penis, or nothing else. Mm. No fingers. Yes, I've said it. And nothing else. Nothing else. Even Thank toilet roll. Even toilet roll. TC, don't talk too much because there's a video. There's That's a video. True. Let me tell you. Don't Am talk. I in the video? Don't talk too much. But there's, there's a video on WhatsApp. I, I, I'm on. Unfortunately, I cannot show it to you. Of a man who is going through an operation. There's a finger being sent into him to remove something. So yes. not only women who put things, men to put things, and I don't know why you put things there. But okay. please, let's talk about Thank jobs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think I should talk about jobs after a long lecture on some new things I've learned, new names. So be nice when human. next you want a woman, Titi. My rise is on because ending. It's a lot of My rise is on ending. I thought you had, I, I thought you had <laughs> okay. ended. Okay, Mara, one more word from you. <laughs> Sanction. Titi, oh, over to you. Can I continue for when she ended? No. Before going to Please, jobs. give us jobs. <laughs> Good morning. Somebody is going to kick us out of the studio. Give us I'm jobs. <laughs> Good morning. We have jobs coming today. We have, this, we have this one coming from the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture. They need... um. Uh, somebody to, to, to work as a station manager in Yaoundé. The institute is in charge with innovation in the agricultural domain, helping farmers on how to improve on food production and, of course, on healthy practices in the production chain. Here they are fighting against hunger, food security, uh, insecurity, and, of course, um, malnutrition. So when you're applying for the vacancy, you should have an idea of what the company, of, of what the institution is all about. For the qualification, you need to have a minimum of uh, at least a first degree with three years of work experience. The degree should be in management. If you have a master's degree, you stand a better chance. The documents are a cover letter, curriculum vitae, names and telephone numbers and emails of three referees, people who attest on your moral and academic background, of course, even work experience, I mean professional experience on the job. Now, if you want to get uh, uh, more uh, information on the uh, uh, vacancy or on the announcement, please follow the link you have on the screen. The institution's website is http double slash www.iita.org. Now, if you want to apply, sending these documents I just enumerated, cover letter, CV, and names and contacts of your referees, you send this to http double slash www.iita.org. ITTA slash about slash jobs. That's when you have the vacancy announcement and the apply button. But if you take just the website, they will still lead you or they will still direct you to the email. So take those two contacts on the first job and then just follow what you are instructed to do. Now, they say female applicants are encouraged and the deadline here is the 28th of April 2017. Now, Creative Association International needs a procurement manager to work in Marua. Here they say you need to have worked in that capacity for at least three years, either with uh, a governmental or a non-governmental organization. The qualification is a university degree in supply chain management or engineering or business administration or better still, finance. Any other related field is accepted. You apply online following the link you find on the screen for the second vacancy it's at UN job at UN job slash procurement procurement manager hyphen creative association at UN jobs slash procurement manager you can see put slash again creative association you have the job 
vacancy and all you need to apply. Now we're ending with the International Red Cross Committee that's needing a cashier and an accountant to work in Kuseri. Here they say you must have a degree in management, finance or accounting for the uh, two uh, uh, vacancies. Now the documents are a curriculum vitae and a motivation letter. The email contact is what you find on the screen, the, the third and the fourth. That's Yao Yao is Y-A-O, excuse my word, underscore, that's Y-A-O underscore, HR underscore services at ICR.org. ICR stands for international, it's in French anyways, international, international committee of Red Cross, but it's been, uh, uh, international committee of Red Cross. It's in English, excuse my word, international community for the Red Cross. So it is Yao underscore HR underscore services at ICR.org. Deadline is the 26th of April to apply to work with the International Red Cross Committee, either as a cashier or as an accountant in, in Kuseri, that's in the far north region. Salary is very encouraging. You have other benefits, and of course, uh, you just have some, uh, how do they call it, incentives to, to make you enjoy your work. Those are the four vacancies we have for today. You have more. Still having some difficulty putting up, but I will do that. Sure hoping, I mean, wishing you good luck, and sure hoping you'll come back and testify. Pochi did not carry the motor pistol today because she knows we spoke a lot not on by JJ and so we need to speak a lot <laughs> on jobs. To come back to <laughs> not for you. She's a good mind. mother. She knows how to <laughs> balance the equation. Not for you. I'm having a message from somebody who is saying, uh, what is the issue of going commando? And he wants to know if, uh, Myra, if you and I, we are going commando. <clears throat> and uh, the answer is, how do, you, how do we look like? Do we look like we are going we're commando? going commando. <coughs> <laughs> it's up to you. If it looks like, then uh, you know, it's a free one. No, you should free. answer. You I don't say how do you look. Go no, you are going back the office. question on she the question. You um, answer. She it's said a yes or no it question. Is a house I'll answer. Thing. Huh? Okay. It's a house Some thing. crazy women could do that, but do we look crazy? No, no, don't no say we that. are very but nice. You guys are not being nice. Very you guys are not children. being straightforward. <laughs> because I know what I'm talking uh, about. Do, not. do you know what I you go, are talking I, I, about? I, I, I go commando. I've said it. Do you, do you know a locality <laughs> in the central region <laughs> called uh, Ekoko? Do you know? Ekoko. Mm -hmm. uh, when it's I hear, here in the central region. Uh, do they produce cocoa there? Enough Who knows? Cocoa. Let's go yeah, discover this cocoa 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 in the center <laughs> well, yeah, man. Well, well, let's go discover that locality mm. and just mm. time for Beauty to settle down. I want to flatter him with some bananas, but I don't As want usual. you watching that. So That's it. Please, let's go discover a cocoa and then I take care of Beauty. Ikokowan is a village located along the Yaoundé Balmayo stretch of road. It links the Mefu and Afamba division to the Nyong and So division of the center region, with a population of over 800 people, mostly the Ewondos. The main activity of the people here is farming. They cultivate food crops like cocoa, cassava, pineapple, and also tap palm wine. It might interest you to know that Ekoko has witnessed drastic change in terms of development. Fue Amugu is one of the elites of Ekoko One. Le village part de, du grand patriarche Amurbana. This village originated from the patriarch Amugubana. One of his sons, after crossing the Natiga River, went in search of greener pastures. He then, after traveling for a long distance, decided to rest in a small village. He had an obstacle of a tree known in the Iwundo dialect as a Lule known as a kukule. Soon after resting, he decided to move forward with his journey. So, during the coming of the white men, they couldn't pronounce the name a kukule. Then they called it a kuku. If you are used to traveling along the Yaoundé Balmayo Highway, the toll gate at Ekokowan must have caught your attention. It was initially a gendarmerie checkpoint, which was later transformed into a toll gate in 1994. The village was less known. It was due to the coming of this toll gate that development sprung up. A uh, year, people indulge themselves into petty trading. During weekends, they go to the toll gate with food items to sell together uh, with their moms. They sell at times maybox, granuts, and bobolo. 
That's the main force of this toolkit. Besides seasonal food items like granot, oranges, plums, and pineapples, there is also the special delicacy of fried mailbox, commonly known as FOSS. Economically, this toll gate generates income for the locals. I sell mailbox mostly during weekends, and this really helps get my little needs. I sell with my mom and sister. Apart from mailbox, we sell granuts, pineapple, and food items, which is seasonal. A day I can sell at least 5,000 francs, but during the weekend, I can get above 10,000 francs. C'est très difficile de s'en sortir avec peut-être 10 000 francs. Je vends les arachides, le maïs et le four. I sell the whole week. I used to sell granuts and May box. I can make about 1,000 francs a day for a bucket of granuts. But if it is May box, I sell at least 4,000 francs. Et 20 000 par jour. As we take you to discover Ekokowan, you will get to know that this is the only village where the, its inhabitants are also privileged to see and wave the president of the public whenever he passes to and fro his village. This toll gate gives us real contact with personalities of this country. We are the only village that have real contact with the president. He greets us when passing. He even stops and shakes hands with us. Some ministers, too, stand and buy goods from this toll gate. A cocoa one may be having certain social amenities, but some important facilities are lacking. And these are an equipped health center, a secondary school, a permanent market structure, and warehouses to keep their farm produce. That was a very, very interesting insight into the Ekoko locality here in the center region. And let me take you now to the south region. I want, you, I want us to rediscover the Ja and Lobo. It's with the help of one of us in that region, Khaled Jani. It's a place where people do agriculture, but not only that, their story with us with Khaled Jani. The Jan Lobo Division covers a surface area of over 19,000 kilometers square with a population of close to 17,000 persons. It is made up of seven subdivisions with Sangmalima as its headquarters. The Jan Lobo still has a lot of virgin forests and its rich equatorial soils has made farming, be it subsistence or commercial, very favorable in this division. These, the locals are aware of, that's why, when you move from one division to another, you will find a lot of plantations, ranches, and fish ponds. So we began and uh, buy some small fishes, uh, but it was not uh, enough for us. So we have decided to, to have uh, uh, an uh, entity for production of uh, small uh, fish, and uh, we do it now. It's working. Uh, we have uh, now nearly two hectares of water plant, and uh, we are producing many of thousands of fish every year. We can do it. We want to do it not only for us, but for the surrounding surrounding population, because we want them to be, uh, you know, uh, interested in uh, the fisheries. Uh, but we have a problem because we should uh, feed them and uh, we have decided to buy some uh, equipment to make uh, the, uh, what uh, the fish can eat, no? you see. And uh, um, I think within some uh, weeks we should have uh, that equipment here. We have left a part of uh, our uh, production to the population and we put fish there they can come and uh, take it when they want. Uh, we, we don't have, uh, they don't have to ask for any, any author authorization to do it. 
but where we are uh, expecting the fish to be sold, uh, they don't come within uh, our entity. The presence of the forest in the John Lobo Division has attracted a lot of wood exploitation companies, which in turn attend to the needs of the local population. More than 200 uh, employees and uh, uh, almost uh, also their families have the benefit of the uh, health, health care from our San Mexico Social and there are also these uh, what uh, came out from the sawmills that they use from uh, that uh, inhabitants from June use to produce charcoal or to do all wood products. Major infrastructures like the Samalima Interstate University and this stadium can't go unnoticed in this part of the country. That is why the governor of the South region had to use a week to visit some of these projects. I'm very satisfied with what uh, I've seen. I came here to, to have an idea of uh, the potentialities of uh, the division as far as the local economy is uh, concerned, mm -hmm. I visited the, the major uh, projects of the state. Mm -hmm. The road from Samalima to Bikula through Jum. Mm -hmm. I noticed that uh, the work is underway, the rate of execution is uh, satisfactory, and I think uh, by the end of uh, the year we will have the project almost completed. Mm. I equally visited um, some in private initiatives of uh, the population and the elites of, uh, of the area who are in line with what the President of the Republic um, want and agriculture of second generation. The future is certainly bright for this division but the fruitfulness of these will depend on how determined the locals are to work with the government to make these projects see the light of the day. Anytime you're talking about agricultural college journey, there is every reason to hope. So yes, the future is indeed bright. Now let me bring you, uh, we're still trying to bring down the temperature in the studio after all what we've been saying here and I hope you're having fun with us and learning something about yourself and our environment in the process. Let me bring you this song. It's by Ebako and it's called Camericana. It's another song that you just want to sit down quietly and savour. Just enjoy. La vie est belle, belle. excusez-moi mon frère, mon frère, American Idol. Americana, flow so sick, they say I'm about to open up a hospital, here to free a mission, who am I to tell them how to hate? Hustle every day to regulate, now the money coming, let it circulate, to them ladies coming, tell them to rotate, to them fake people, tell them separate, American Idol. 2017, I'm really taking over, no more sleeping over, gotta get my bib, I gotta calibrate it, huh? Speak French, I speak English, 237, Anglophone, Cameroon, City, Salapa, in a Sabapa, I'm a king with a ring, cinema, la vie est belle, excusez-moi mon frère, I don't elevate it to a level, floating on air, I'm so rare, my whole team well, under red flow, I'm a lion, 237, yeah. Eddie Ledre on the beat, rider out of boy, I mean I don't put my southwest in a king beat killer, so we're all sinners, I ain't no killer, don't push me, since it's gonna get stitches, and here to never get riches, go take an L, here to take an L, I'm a winner, start double to the end, well, who told these rappers the music in the street easy, well, who told these rappers without money you can do it, well, my no fee help, go make it happen yourself, go make it happen yourself, you gotta do it yourself, come Americana, Americana, Americana. Americana, Americana, Americana. La vie est belle, excusez-moi mon frère. I don't elevate it to a level floating on air. I'm so rare, my whole team well on the red flow. I'm a lion to be seven, yeah. Come Americana, Americana, Americana. Come Americana, Americana, Americana. Come Americana, Americana, Americana. Come Americana.
Marco on Hello Cameroon. We have talents like that that will just keep feeding you with. So stay with us. You're on the right channel, and we are having a wonderful drive. We're actually driving to our destination already, but I want you to sit with us for a few more minutes. First, let's discover uh, what is coming up on the CRT. I want some of those programs that I want you to watch absolutely. Ruth NJ is right here. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Happy this to have you here. Thank you. Today is a royal morning. Because you are in blue, Everybody I'm in blue. Is in Myra blue. was, Myra in, was blue. in blue. Even the guest <laughs> was in blue. <laughs> was in blue. So today is a royal <laughs> Thursday on Hello it Cameroon. It feels royal anyway. Yes. Mm. And at 10 a.m. this morning, we are having Kame still, and they are talking about weight loss. Weight okay. loss. We women, you know, when we give birth, we are trying to fight to come back to our normal skin size. Or even not when we overeat in our... Um, younger years want to fix it um, later after. So um, come here still at 10 a.m. Today we'll be talking about weight loss. You want to stay tuned and see the various things you have to do to lose weight. And then straight after that we are having Follow Me with Eleanor Bisson and Priscilla Nguafon and they'll be talking about sexual harassment sexual harassment in your professional milieu. That's what they'll be talking about. <laughs> so you want to stay tuned to follow me at 11 a.m. this Thursday morning. And then, I forgot to say this, if you want to be, if you want to participate live on follow me, you just have to log on to follow me, that's one word, CRTV on Facebook, and then you can drop your comments as well. And then we are driving up to 6.30 p.m. That's this day. What's up in your day? You want to find out with Joyce Abigail, um, Rob Black, and Aristide. Then just stay tuned. And then if I give you a blank check, what will you do with that? Hmm. I will start keeping it because I might, I want to buy a, cam, a car made in Cameroon by the end of the year. So I will keep it. <laughs> ah, that four million, six million car. I want a Range Rover Sport if that's why. Okay, that's for another time. So Blank Check is our fiction for today, Thursday. It's at 10 p.m. on CRTV. And then I'm taking you straight to Friday, hoping you have slept where you have had a good night rest. And we are waking up with Bonjour le Cameroon. Eric Christiania is your guy from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. And then at 11 a.m., we are having the graduation ceremony of cadet officers at the Combined Military Academy, referred to as EMIA. You want to find out those guys who become colonels, lieutenants, and captains, and so on, and so forth. So you stay tuned. I know that there are some proud parents who are just like, oh my God, I can't wait for this day to come and go. And we have one present at CRTV. I'm keeping that for later. Please keep it for wraps. <laughs> and then at 4 p.m. this weekend, all roads are leading to Bamenda, that's for sport vision, because the university games are starting. And Baldwin Sama, it's your main guy. He'll be talking about the university games, the preparation from other universities in the country. And of course, Bamenda is hosting the university games this year. So you want to find out on sport vision with Baldwin Sama, Fonkemon at 4 p.m. And then at 6.30 p.m., weddings, weddings, weddings. You know, um, what makes a wedding is not only about the food, the bride, but you want to think about your master of ceremony as well. Mm -hmm. And then the guest for La Fiche is Koli Kabana. He's a master of ceremony at weddings. He's very good at that. So you want to find out his challenges, how he started, what made him love weddings so much. And he's very known in the showbiz world. So find out with Solange Manga at 6.30 p.m. on La Fiche. That's on Friday. And then I'm ending your evening on Friday with Kataput. And guess what, you know... Who mos is going to be catapulted? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's the mosquito, the female, or the male. Okay. okay. Because Mustiklo charismatic, charismatic is in the building, and he'll be making you laugh your night well. Because you you know when you end your night with laughter, you wake up with laughter. So Mustiklo charismatic is good at that. And that's at 10 p.m. on Friday. And then on Saturday morning, you want to make, wake up with two beautiful fine girls. Myra and Solange, and they are having a guest on the hot seat. I don't want to tell you much about that, Bert. Just Stay tune in to Bon Weekend from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Stay with the CRTV and log on to CRTV's um, web. That's on Facebook. Okay, CRTV uh, yes. on Facebook and on, on CRTV.cm. 
Yes, of course. Okay. Uh, now you know uh, some of the highlights, but just stay with the CRTV. Stay with the heart of the nation. It's tum 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 and it's the right direction. I know. I know what you want to say, but stay with us. You'll see. Now, if you're thinking of stepping out and you're wondering how your outside is looking like, here is a tip. Here is an idea. Here is the weather forecast. birthday to all those who has birthday like me today so in the center region yaoundé this thursday we'll have a high temperature of 31 degree 21 minimal and 29 medium the risk of rent up to 80 percent in this side of cameroon littoral show us the same tendance with 35 high temperature 26 minimal and 32 degree of medium temperature southwest region in Buya show us a lot of thunderstorm in the sky 32 degree of high temperature 24 minimal and 29 medium the risk of rain up to 100 percent in the west region Befusan will have the same tendance with 28 degree of high temperature very slowly 19 minimal and 24 medium the risk of rain will be up to 100 percent with thunderstorm in the sky in the fourth north region we will have 44 high temperature 27 minimal and 42 medium the sky will be very clearly in this part of cameroon with a lot of shine in the north region gara will have 39 degree of high temperature 26 minimal and 36 medium the sky will also be very clearly in the sky not cloud in the sky the south region Ibulova show us a lot of thunderstorm, a lot of rain at 100 percent, 30 degree high temperature, 20 minimal and 28 medium northwest. Let us be down in the side with 27 degree of high temperature, very slow, 18 minimal and 25 medium. East region show us 27 of high temperature 18 minimal and 24 medium the risk of rent up to 80 percent let us finish with edamawa 31 degree of high temperature 19 minimal and 28 medium the risk of rent up to 80 percent more cloud in the sky the sun will rise at 6 8 a.m and lying at 6 20 p.m stay tuned with us tuned to the CRTV. If you're stepping out of your home, please hook up to uh, the CRTV national station. On your radio is 88.8 .8, and you have people like Pochi, people like Myra, in fact the whole team still there making sure you're getting informed and you're getting entertained in the process. As for Pochi and the Hello Cameroon team, we'll be back here on uh, Tuesday next week for another three hour exceptional moment with you. Now we'll leave you, but please stay with us at 11 o'clock as you did here there is a follow me and today they are talking about sexual harassment at work that's a topic that brings heat so stay with us and please continue to watch the crtv as for me it's a beautiful day ahead for you bye bye and have an awesome moment it's your choice it's still morning you have the choice to let it stay gloomy if it's beginning to look gloomy or put a big smile on your face and motivate yourself give yourself a good reason if you can't look for a good code on the internet and give it to yourself bye bye Some